and the names. Crispin awakens, and first thing he does is uh, armor up and, or at least put his doublet on, go down with his weapons, and do some training before he breaks his fast. Uh, who wants to go next? I go uh, wake up my squire on, on. and then go out to the training field. All right, so you drag a bleary eyed, I forgot his name, uh, bleary eyed Harold from his rooms. At least this time he's actually dressed and ready for you, though he still looks like he's going to fall over and sleep. Uh, I hand him a cup of tea. He still grimaces at the taste of the damn strange drink from the south. Um, but he does drink it, because it does wake him up. Now, um, my boy, today will finally be training day, at least for your weapon. Oh, good, no running today. <laughs> yes, yes, are gonna I can't break from your running. You're still doing push up uh -huh. Oh, okay. I need your muscles to be strong. One day, you will be as strong, or close to as strong. Yes, sir. So you take him into the training field and go through the... Um, go through Daily warm-ups. Push-ups, yeah. sit-ups, crunches. No running today, because I promised. And after about 30 minutes of rest, weapon drill. So, Crispin's also down in the uh, training yard. And he's mainly just practicing his form and slowly turning a log into kindling. Hey, Crispin, would you like to join us? Uh, sure. Just as he splits the log in half. Now, Chris, I mean, now my boy. This man is an axe wielder. When you fight someone like him on the battlefield, try and break his weapon. However, keep in mind, axemen are dangerous. Men like Crispin fight with them their whole lives. Look at the muscle. All right, I'm just going to pause you there, um, Raven, and we're going to move on to the other people. Uh All right. So, Vlad... Cash, who wants to go next? Well, it's dawn, so we're putting on the evil clothing and out making sure the horse fed. That, that, that any horseman will take care of his horse first, though. So. Beans giving Big Red his breakfast. So you go down and check on your horse. Yep. The uh, Master of Horse. Oh, I think I'll put his name down. The Oh no, we don't have a ma okay. Oh, so okay. you don't have a technically a master of horse. He unfortunately died in the last raid. A few, a couple Do of we have like there. a couple of ostlers then? Yeah, you've got some stable boys, but sort of like Isabel's sort of taken, semi taken it over until um, Lord Lord um, Lord Molfin can find a decent horseman. Yeah, here, apparently last time you spoke to him about it, he was seeing if he could, um... Alarm's going off, I gotta see what that is. Alright. Last time you spoke to Lord Mofin about it, um, seeing as you're Master of Arms of the House, uh, James, uh, so your duty is to make sure everything's prepared and sorted, he's apparently in talk with House Dustin to see if he can get one of their grooms to come and work as a master of horse. I nod approvingly, but back to Lady Isabel. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll assume something happened. Right, so yeah, it's about basically you see her in the, in the yard because, of course, it's in the big hold fast. Um, goes over to the stables and starts looking after her horse, and I'm assuming Moving on to the others once that's done. Yes, making sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Taking table well, in the ass because he's being lazy. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, the, the youngest of the grooms basically is, uh, he knows which end to feed, basically, and that's about <laughs> it. Um, yeah. So, we just got to wait for uh, Vlad to come back so he can tell us what Eric's doing. Okay, so we'll move back on to Raven and uh, Tio, see what they're up to. All right, what do you want to know? Well, do you have a spa with um, Crispin to sort of show Harold what's the best way to fight an X-Men? Or what, what not to do, like don't get hit, stuff like that. If Crispin allows it, yes, we should spar. But Crispin's playing league right now, so I don't yeah. think. Uh, yeah, he'd be a he'd uh, like not actual combat, him. mind you, just like spar. Uh, demonstrate, uh, yeah, demonstration. Yeah, you get, you're gonna leave your actual weapons, like you're actually probably leaving the log, um, and I'm assuming James just gonna get a you know blunted piece of metal rather than his actual. Fucking monstrous sword of doom. Yeah. But yeah. I teach you both more how. You guys know what Mord how is, right? It's a computer game. No. <laughs> uh, uh, it's yes, a type it of. Um, uh, what I, is the computer game named after? Yeah. It's I, a fighting strike. Yeah. You use the blunt end of your sword to hit at an enemy. Especially armored ones, because while a sword edge will only dent, the blunt edges and blunt portions of a blade will, you know, dent in armor. Mm. It also makes it also makes for plenty of damage. But yes, I'm teaching you how to moor. Well, probably Crispin, you know, sort of like half listening because he uses a goddamn axe, which you know. Oh no, that's what I'm life. using it against. If I'm using the cross guard of my blade and holding my blade with my lid hands, I can use the cross guards to bring his defense down by bringing the axe down mm. and then use my hilt or the actual handle of the sword and jab him in the face. The pommel, yeah. I forget name parts of the sword. Yeah, it's, it's the um, right on the end usually used as a as a clubbing. Yeah, instrument. also I'm, I'm, I'm slightly drunk. I put whiskey in my coffee this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were American, not Irish. Well, I do have some Irish descent. Uh, Hard to not find somebody like that in the US. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just you can thank, you can thank Cromwell for that. Murdering bastard. Oh, anyway. Cromwell and then uh, Peel. Sorry? Back. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, you know. Anyway. All right, so James and Crispin are doing training in the yard with um, Harold, the youngest, uh, your younger brother, which I'm assuming wakes you up to the sound of clashing blades and hammering wood. Isabel's uh, looking after the... Uh, is basically making sure the horses are all uh, in good condition. Nothing's happened over the evening. Um, what does Eric do first thing in the morning? I'm sure it's pronounced Edric. Oh, wait. Uh, it's Eric. It, it's Eric. Eric. Because, uh, he's... He's, uh, he's in a staring contest with his shadow cat in the morning. <laughs> okay. Look. Land the clever. <laughs> oh dear, I'm gonna like the first time you meet a fucking Lannister. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so you're in a staring contest with your shadow cat, which you. In all the time you've known it, known Lan, you've never won. Is the 
again, I guess he goes down to meet his sister, uh, to help train her for Joust, to help her to, for basically jousting practice. Alright, so, you head down, and Isabel's where she usually is this time in the morning, or any time she can get away from the small amount of, um, lady-like training she's supposed to have. Alright. Um, which is, uh, so she's with the horses. And you find her there basically going over some of the other, uh, horses that the few, some of the few horses the house has. Well, currently she's, um, currently she's, uh, <clears throat> bent over, uh, taking a closer look at. You're checking the juice of the horse. Her big stallion. Her yeah. big stallion's yeah. hooves. Yeah. As he's happily munching on his brick. Yeah. So you find Isabel with a uh, basically sort of leaning over with a horse's hoof uh, leg between the legs, just holding it to check the bottom of the um, horse's hoof. Hold on a second, everyone. Be back in a sec. I meant to write Quintade, but I forgot what the damn thing was. I'm thought, sorry. I thought someone was knocking at the door. Anyway. Little sister. Mm. Uh, I... <clears throat> Jousting practice, and he's poking, he's poking him with the, the haft of a spear. Yeah, she looks at him. Really? He's just eating breakfast. Couldn't wait a little bit for his dad. So busy, I have to tear him from from his from his breakfast. Get in practice. Nope, father. Father doesn't very much approve of your jousting practice in the first place. Uh, so, I know, but I know, but, but, I, know? but I always, but I always do with little sister. Me nestles all, yeah, nestles or hell. <laughs> hey! Stop it with that. I'm not six anymore. Alright, alright. No, he's going to feel cranky with you. He just jumped for the horse. You know how he doesn't like it when you interrupt breakfast. No. Alright, so I'll get to saddle up. All right, Dan's done. All right. So I'll I'll meet you out there and uh, watch it. Going to remember. Uh, Eric says, uh, "You do realize I need to saddle my horse up as well." I'll be right back. Yes, and your horse is over there eating his breakfast. So. Yeah. And we gotta go saddle up. We gotta go ooh, saddle up Tyrion. Oh, that name, I don't know why you named him that. What was he named? This was Tyrion. Yes. Yeah, the horse is named Tyrion. Because he. Because <coughs> uh, the one time, uh, the one time uh, Eric met uh, <coughs> Tyrion led. Because uh, he won in a. Uh, Gambling with Tyrion. He won, won it when he was gambling with the imp. What, during the rebellion? Would you like to know a fun fact about the name Tyrion? Uh, can, it, can it sort of wait and we keep it in sort of the roleplay? Sure. Okay. So, um, I'm assuming Isabel just shakes her head when she hears him say that. <laughs> With a grin on her face. Um, so, while well, you're getting all that ready, um, from within the hall, uh, Maester Rolo 
comes down the steps, uh, looks around the training yard, which now sort of filling up with the local the local house retainers and servants and the guards um, starting their practice because of the brutal regime that Sir Tavion has put them under. <laughs> um, and then spots the Titan of Dawn near, near the gates or near the, tra- the training yard with Sir Harold. Uh, sorry, with young Harold and um Hey, sorry guys. I'm here. Hey, Farrell. No worries, you're not that late. You're incredibly late. You actually missed like us uh like killing uh, like two kings. Yeah, uh, they 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 they, they, they attacked old Wyke and uh, Wyke and stole Red Rain from the Duns. Yeah. Um you know, we like actually I bested like half of the King's Guard and all that. It's very <laughs> impressive. Yes, I'm I sure finally you finally killed Clegane. Exactly. Uh, Tavion basically beat him to death. <laughs> and then beat up the other half of the King's Guard while swinging him around by his legs. <laughs> anyway. Um Alright, so as Maester Rolo comes out of the hall, um Gottfried enters the hall, enters the hold fast through the main gates. Um with uh apparently to the night's dinner on a uh, um, stick between him and another one of your apprentice huntsmen. With a what? You're carrying a um, deer back into the hold. hold oh, fast. yeah. It's early morning. You left before dawn to go hunting to get something for the um, for dinner tonight. You came back with a nice sized deer. That I did. So as you enter, Rolo spots um so you come in, you spot in the training yards, um the two oldest of Lord Mulfin's children in the uh very open stable, saddling a pair of horses. Where which as you see that Isabel's sort of wearing a Padded armor, and uh, Eric's got a couple of training lances that they're most likely going to be doing the uh, tilting they usually do this time of morning. And you also easily spot Sir Tavion along with, um, uh, oh, sorry, Timo, is Kaltagar a sir? Is he a knight? Um, do I have to take a benefit for that? No, you no. don't. Only if then, you want to be an anointed knight. Nope. He was a yeah. He he was a hedge knight. Okay, so uh, he, you see, he, Sir Tavion and Sir Keltigar. Put a sir in front of your name. No, it, it doesn't matter. I can remember that. I just needed to know if he was a knight. Um, it, you can if you want. It's completely up to you. But you see, Sir Keltigar and Sir Tavion, which it's very easy to spot, Sir Tavion. Um with the youngest of Lord Malfin's children, Harold. Um, Harold watching Tavion and Keltegard do some training. Guess Tavion sort of teaching um, how to sort of fight an axeman by the look of it. Um, but then you also spot Sir um, Meister Rolo, who... He's been started walking towards Tavion, but then spots you and comes over to you instead. Uh, good day, Maester. Um, Maester Rolo, he's late middle age, so he's probably about 35 to 37 years of age. Uh, Gottfried, good to see you. Um, We've had a little bit of, um, Lord Malfin's had a bit of bad news from, uh, oh god, what are their names? There's one problem with this game, you know, I remember a lot of names. From Lord Risewell. It seems the, uh, you might want to have your apprentice take that deer, you're most likely going to have to go out again, I'm afraid. 
what happened? Well, it looks like Lord Rysor didn't get his his shipment of lim, uh, lumber. That's, as you know, part of our um, tithe to him as our as Lord Malfin's over liege lord. Seems it didn't arrive, which is, is a the, bit. Is the Sorry. bandits again? Or <sighs> well, else? we're assuming so. Um, by the time. If the Raven got here now, we of course the the shipment should have, have just arrived, which is probably why they sent the Raven. We wouldn't have been back yet, so we don't know what's exactly happened. But as you know, something's something's being going very wrong because we keep trying to, as you know, change shipment times, keep it as secret as possible. So, Lord Malfin wants you to go out with a few men and see if you can find out what happened to the shipment itself. Whether it was captured, it's been waylaid. I see. Very well. So, give me a moment. Oh, sorry, hold on. Sorry, sorry. Reset that. Okay. It wasn't that the shipment didn't arrive. There wasn't in there wasn't the right amount of lumber. According to Tithus. Apparently we've shortchanged Lord Risewell of his lumber. Oh. Never good. Which that's like that's that, the accusation. Sorry. But Lord Risewell has not actually come out and said it, he's just said that there's less than there should have been. And yeah. a few of the lot few quite the now, he didn't say that it was actually less in the shipment. What he said was that some of the wood was not of the quality we're supposed to give. Some of it was old or had had rot starting on it. So someone's sort of uh, given replaced less quality. Along. Yeah, replaced a few of the... Well, it's more... We, we actually supply... Because we've got the lumber mill. It, we actually supply prepared wood, not just the logs. We actually, you know, planks, fitting, stuff like that. Well, mainly planks of wood and other pieces for craftsmen. So, but some of the woods either warped, split, you know, stuff that would that'd be used for firewood or, or put to one side during the cutting process for quality control. Right. Um, so, Lord Risewell isn't very happy, but... I'm, I personally checked the shipment. It was all quality wood as we usually stand it. So something's happened between here and Lord, R- Lord Risewell's seat. Um, so Lord Malfin wants you to go down to the lumber yard, speak to the lumber master. Um, maybe even follow where the uh, shipment was supposed to go and see if anything's, you can find anything. Tom would be the yard master. Yeah, yard master. Very well. Um, we've, we would, of course, uh, this, we of course would usually send uh, Tavion, but he's a bit uh, blatant and might scare off whoever it is. In your case, Lumberyard in the woods. It's entirely it's within your jurisdiction to make sure that they're not being attacked by wolves or anything. So, you visiting isn't a problem. Okay, uh, then I will take a few men, and I, or if the young lord wants to come with, and go. Well, Lord Malfin didn't say anything else, and I think you can miss his, I think you can miss his, letter, his letters and number lessons for a few, for today. I think this would be a good chance for him to learn some practical experience for lording. I'll leave him in your hand. I'll leave it in your very capable hands, Godfrey. Don't worry, Mister. That will be just fine. Uh, and he basically nods to you, turns around, jingling all, the, uh, and walks up back into the hall, jingling all the way. So there you go. Someone's been stealing. 
<laughs> Ooh, um, maybe uh, can execute somebody after this. <laughs> well, that's if you take them alive. And what is your preferred execution? Is that? Do you really have to ask? He, uh, Crispin says uh, while uh, patting his axe. Eric says mm, that that would be the Lord's job to execute people, not yours, Crispin. Eh. Oh yeah, you do know it. You, you yeah, are here in the, the north. The, here in the north, it's the man who calls judgment that does the execution. Nobody else. Oh. I thought it was like in everywhere else. Well, mostly everywhere else. Most <laughs> princesses or gallows. Oh, Just most the of the time. They have a giant moon. Harold, who's been listening, goes, Really? I thought that was just rumor that they... I thought that was just rumor about the veil. No, they're real. Instead of regular prison cells, they're open. Either you find a way to climb down, or you wait for your judgment, or you jump off and despair. Yeah, climb down and jump off. Um, both of those are basically suicide. How Harold sort of looks at you like, what the fuck? Sort of looking goes, and they call us savages up here. I mean, at least prisoners are somewhat safe and can wait for their judgment. I mean, that's just a little too much. Uh, yeah, like uh, savages. He he, uh, he takes off uh, one of his guys, like, and he takes his foot. It's like last time. Uh, last time, mom tried to play the finger dance with me. I this happened. Oh, uh, Eric, are you going to just keep showing that off and complaining all the time? It was years ago. Yeah, but you know, Big Brother is always. I think he's bragging about it, really. <laughs> I don't know why you keep blaming Mother anyway. You know, it was your fault. Yeah, that's why I do not play that game anymore. Well, it's a stupid game anyway. That's why the only the Ironborn do it. Ironborn, you twat. <laughs> Dickhead. Idiot. So what about this? Does Eric and Harold just both look at her and go, keep out of it? <laughs> so what about this? Somebody be poaching our wood. Mm. Oh. Well, I'm all up for some bandit hunting. Well, we're not, we don't know if it's actually bandits. It would have mm. just attacked the caravan. It's probably someone. Smart bandits? Yes. Unless they're really There's no bad. such thing as smart bandits. Um, one could argue. All of us or, making all you, you, you all know more about that than I do. Sister, it would not be prevalent for me to... I, I, me, and Eric... God... You're right, Vladimir. You seem to be cutting out quite a bit. Yeah, I'm on push talk. Uh, got me and Godfrey to deal with it. Uh, little brother. How so? Sorry, yeah. Well, uh, your younger brother can help you with your jousting training. Well, he's a lot more fun than you anyway. I'm the one who taught you how to joust, so I'm clearly more fun. <laughs> Harold looks at looks at Satavion. Sorry, Harold looks over at Satavion again. Are you really gonna just let Eric just go by himself, sir? If he won't be by so, himself. I won't be so, there. Sorry, I mean just uh, with just Godfrey. I personally would wish to accommodate them, but if they wish to go by themselves, that is their wish. I am not one to oppose my will on others. Yeah. Oh, Harold obviously just wants to go out on an adventure, that's why he pointed it out. <laughs> no, first, 
no offense, Sir Tavian, but for this uh, kind of uh, mission, your sights could be a bit um, not very convenient in case we have to hide. What did the Meister say? Oh, yes, blatant. <laughs> Eric says yes, and uh, we all, we're also bringing land. It's land. He goes, hey, somewhere. Um, at this point, you hear a cockerel sort of make a loud noise, and then you spot that Land's chasing the fucking cockerel again. Now that that old cock is going to end up in fucking do you well, one day. Well, you, you say that, but that that cock's been there for a very long time, and this has sort of become sort of like a regular thing <laughs> sort of him and Lan have been at it for ye- for a couple of years now and <laughs> Lan still hasn't caught him <laughs> well but the old once or twice the cock has basically older getting older faster than, than the man well there have been a couple of times where the cock's turned around and given Lan just as good as he gets <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with those guys. <laughs> if you can't take me, how about you take Rex? Take who? My dog. Yeah, he's, he's got a big, like, hunting with stiff thing. Mm, I don't okay. see why not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's more, more, <clears throat> more uh, animals to track, whatever's going on. Are you interested in coming with us, uh, sir? Celtic car? Do it yeah. right. It'll be fun. Maybe I get to uh, sink my axe into something. Very well then. Uh, let's get ready and we will be leaving five minutes or ten. Yeah, uh, Captain Cole's got to get his armor and stuff and then get his horse ready. Mm hmm. I wish you all good luck on your, on your travel. Eric's like, uh, well, I guess I have to actually go put on actual ammo. Yeah, which is standard procedure when you go further than 15 meters from the outer wall of the hall. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you guys are about to leave, it says, I wager it's not bandits. Probably not. We'll find out. Head to the. Uh, so, what is the, the town called? Ramsgate. And it's about six leagues away. We, so, we stop by Ramsgate or just go straight to the mill? Sorry? Into Sotagar. Uh, up to you. Uh, oh, I assume God, you know this out. area. Uh, know this area better than I. I don't see why we have to go by the town. We should directly head to. Yeah. The land. Um. If sorry, j- just to give you an idea of what the land sort of set up as. There's your your hall, which is quite on like the foothills of the mountains. You know, it's sort of like built into a sort of like bite that's been taken out of the foot of the mountain. So it's a bit a bit like how um. Helm's Deep sort of built. It's still got a good view, and it's not as deep as that that valley that Helm's Deep's in. But it's sort of like got you, the, the um your your the halls at the back and your the curtain walls basically like covering the entrance. This sort of like little ravine, this wide ravine valley thing, and the stream sort of starts nearby and goes through. Um, then it sort of goes into the hilly ground. As it starts, as you go, because that's why you're in the foothills. Um, following what eventually becomes a proper river, but it connects up with that main river you can see on the map, um, which is also full of dense forest. That's where the lumber yard is near the river. So that's only about uh, it's only about three miles away, which isn't too far on the horse. And then the hamlets on the coast. Well, 
God freak. So how's it going? Well, I guess we're going to have to uh, deal with the band, deal with whatever this is, bandits. Probably, most likely, it is just some some uh, lumberjacks getting greedy. Well, whatever the case, we'll be sure to deal with it with the appropriate response. He says while well, patting his axe on, on his back. So, is it just you guys? Or are you going to take a couple of the um, a couple of men from the infantry? Um, with three, or maybe probably take... archers if they sort of second as assistant huntsman to Gottfried. Mm. Maybe one archer and one infantry run, so we're a party of five. All right. Um, Got it. Well, the because uh, everyone knows that you're 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 distantly related to the Celtigars, who are you know kind of Valyrian. So, do do you have any sort of Valyrian traits? Do you have like like purple eyes or something? Uh, just white uh white hair. White hair. So, but I cut it short. Okay, so like so, when I wear, when I wear my helmet, you can't really tell. So it's only when like I, I I'm walking around the uh, which the, is most of the time. <laughs> yeah, but so, if I'm out um, traveling or anything like that, I'm usually wearing my helm. Well, if, you, if you're traveling anywhere and these holds fast, to be perfectly honest, remember there is only a law of one. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot of bandits. The the upside is over the years that most of the time they're fighting each other as much as the. the the few outlaw bands you've got mostly fire amongst themselves. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, you want your law as low as possible just so your characters can grind XP from killing bandits. Yeah, but you don't want it to be as low as it is, but whatever. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, but one of the archers uh, basically goes, oh, you'd know about that. It's a, it's a Celtigar, wouldn't you? What was it your distant cousins used to say all the time? Fire and blood? Uh no, that'd be uh well uh Celtigars didn't get to didn't get the honor of marrying into the Targaryens as often as we wanted to. Those were those lucky Valerian bastards. <laughs> Heck, uh most people uh when most people think of the great Valerian houses of old, people for tend to forget about a uh, little old us near on our tiny island, even though, you know, compared to those uh fish horses and whatnot, we actually have a Valyrian steel in our family. Plus, we didn't lose it. <laughs> That's um, your only Valyrian steel axe in fucking Westeros. <laughs> is that... Well, no, is that a hint of jealousy I hear? It's just... Most people don't have Valyrian steel axes. They're mostly swords. Oh, well. Swords are more noble weapons. And more, more expensive. At least you're not like... Swords are glorified sidearms. The axe. Now that's a real primary weapon. You can take that into battle any day. No, it is the spear. See, man, yeah, with, but... man, man with an axe. He's standing over here, man with a spear, and he and he thrusts with the spear all the way dead, dead before he gets to you. Do not yeah. about your favorite weapon. I love my sword, but I know that skill at arms is the most prevalent thing. We shall we, sh we should head off before we spend a whole day talking. Well, at this point, um. To speed things up, the uh, Isabel most likely sent one of the grooms to saddle Castigar, um to finish looking after the horses, while you're still giving them like sort of like the evil eye whenever they're almost doing something wrong. While you quickly saddle um, Castigar's horse, um, what type of horse do you have, Castigar? Uh, I think it's just a regular riding horse. Uh, you so need to just sort of add all your equipment into the gear when you've got a free moment. So, 
Oh, uh, okay. What you've all got. Um, yeah, you've probably only got like a, a courser at best. Well, the question oh, yeah. is, is it, a, is it a war horse or is it a, not a war train? It's not oh, war trained. I can't. I can't. I, after the long axe, I barely had enough money for armor. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so you're definitely you definitely have little money. You got nine. Hey, would well, I you got like nine. To a I got. I got fucking nine too. I. I. Oh yeah, I think. I think James is offering to lend you one of his horses. Oh, that. Uh, no, I'll that'd just. Be... I'll just give you the silver to buy one. Well, oh, there aren't wonderful. any horse traders nearby, so <laughs> uh, you're either going to have to lend him one of yours, or he's just going to have to use his one until you find it. You can you can lend him the money, but he won't be able to buy anything yet. I will do. I mean, both. Hey, we can uh, we can take a short. Uh... No, 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 no! I will give you both. I lend you okay. both and say buy one later, as I give you fifty. All right. Thank you. All right, uh, hey, you want to take a quick uh, pit stop all the way in Dorn really quick? <laughs> <laughs> Eric says, mm, as much as I'd like to go see see Dorn, it would be, I think it would, that would take a very long time. Or, hey, maybe Scudo well, or White Harbor <laughs> get a quick uh, ship, o- uh, ship over to Essos and, like, you know, talk a... Uh, you don't have to go the... that far. You can just quickly pop down to the Vale of Arryn. We fucking love their horses there. Oh, yeah, but nice. maybe I want to go to Essos and then, like, beat up a Dothraki, steal his horse. <laughs> Eric points out otherwise. Well, These things uh, are tiny. Here, here's, the, here's the thing you boys need to think about. Most horses, the most southern horses... Freeze to death up here. True. Anyway, which is why House Dustin makes so much fucking money in the north. Alright, uh, pop well, my over. Sense I think I have so much family, so. Alright, pop over the wall, go steal a mammoth. Oh yeah, that's for Sid James, so he doesn't look so silly on his derrister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a derrister, remember. I know, I, I know, I know. Yeah, he's actually had to get a workhorse because it's, it's the only thing that sort of can carry him long distances without getting naked. Maybe you uh, should ride bollocks. an ox. A what? That's ox. Right bollocks right there. Yeah. But if you could walk, well, I, I would honestly be terrified if you wore trained an oryx. They were already dangerous enough without you making a war trade. <laughs> I mean. I would a big pig. No, no, oryx. It's it's what cows used to be before they were. No, no, I know what you're talking about, and I know uh, buy one and get the training, but I would still look. Yeah, people would laugh until you go and get involved in a fucking charge, and that thing knocks over more people than you do. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, it, it's not going to be fast. God damn it! Anything caught under it, squish. Anyways, back to the story. I'm getting you off track. Back. To- yeah. Okay, so. Um, everyone gets ready. You're all prepared. And you ride out towards the lumber yard. As, as you hear behind you. Isabel calls out. And next time, Caldegar, how about you, bloody, take care of your own horse? Ah, uh, but ah, uh, but uh, fuck it's not my horse. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one that's gonna ride it. Ah, uh, but then what would you do with your free time? I don't know. I have training to do. I've got five more horses that needs to have hooves checked. So work. I always have work. I'm like you, lazy bones. At that point, a hand is on your shoulder. And you turn and see your lady mother. Hi. <laughs> she goes, well, at least you admit you're busy. It's time for you to, now that you've finished playing with the horses, dear, it's time for you to fin- have your breakfast. And then we're going to practice some more of that embroidery. Let's see if you can at least improve a slight <gasps> amount today. Wait, she's ironboard and she does embroidery? She what? Well, yeah, well. That's, that does just because he's on board doesn't mean she's unladylike. Yeah. 
Uh, hey, try to embroider a board. He just has this look of, fuck you guys, fuck you so hard, fuck you. And Is fuck that what you're thinking or saying? <laughs> you're actually saying that? No, she has that look. Yes, mom? Does <laughs> the, the lady carry around a throwing axe? No. Um, she, uh, you have to think that in the Iron Islands, women are very not well treated. So most northern women are a bit more forward. She, um, your lady mother's sort of become more open. But when she got first married to your, your lord father, he was, um, she was very quiet and um timid um she wasn't a salt wife she wasn't she was a she was a, a rock wife but, but, you know she, she was a daughter of a of a ironborn noble house but you know they're just they're treated like bloody uh, cattle you know, yeah cattle less more so than even most southern kingdoms less than ponds yeah they're just used as um they are even used to make connections between the house families, but most of the time they're targets for raids and stuff like that. So, so because yeah. asking a lady out is not the iron way. No, you hit her over the head and drag her back to the boat by her hair. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's um, she's sort of learnt from her mother, sort of the southern methods um so like embroidery uh dressing nicely eating properly so yeah uh eric and isabel and hen harold actually know how to use a knife and fork and stuff <laughs> like that they don't eat with their hands <laughs> did she still try and play the finger dance or she still stop doing that after she uh well she only reason she taught she taught you that is because you insisted um, and she's decided not to do it anymore because of what happened. And she's actually forbidden you from doing it. <laughs> and all their children from Good doing time. it. Good times, crippling your son. Anyway, so, um, you get taken inside to break your fast. Um... As she's walking past, she does look at Sir Tavon and go, don't keep Harold out too long. He's still a grown boy and needs to eat. Actually, we were just about done. He can go. Harold go. Because <laughs> while you're talking, he's still doing all his training and all that going. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I hand him a water skin that I conveniently have. I got like eight of these things. He just starts guzzling it as he's walking. <laughs> um, and his lady mother goes, go go wash first, then come down and break your fast, Harold. <laughs> and of course, Sir uh, Tavion, you're welcome. You're welcome to join us. That would be lovely, my lady. How are you this fine morning? Oh, uh, well, a little bit tired. Mm. Uh, Edwin woke up in the night. His leg was play. His uh, injury was playing up, and he accidentally woke me up in the evening. Ah. Anyway, but he's much better this morning. Though, of course, that news from Lord Risewell has got him in a slightly foul mood. Well, when you learn things of these natures, one is obviously going to be disgruntled, at the very least. Well, you know what my lord husband's like? He's not his first man. To, he's got the blood of the first men all the way to his core. So he's taken this very personally, even though it's probably most likely got nothing to do with anyone in the household. Hmm. I would not know. We do not do things the way you do as Dawn. Uh, Dawn. I'd like to visit there one day. 
I mean, if you have the time, I can arrange it. I cannot go right now. I have my duties here, but I can always arrange for my family to bring. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> Or would you rather go to Essos? We have some brothers, please, Mia. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe when Elric's a bit uh, Eric's a bit older and he takes more responsibilities, I still have to help my lord husband. That's fair enough. But if my family does take you to dawn, I do warn you: do not get near the sailors. They are foul mouthed and loo. So Tavion, it's, she she sort of laughs slightly. This so Tavion, it surprises me how often you forget that uh, before I married my dear lord husband, that I was raised on the Iron Islands. Dornish sailors may be loo, but they don't hold a candle to some of the uh, say colourful language your average ironborn comes out with. I do not mean that kind of lewd. I know exactly what you meant, Sir Tavion. But I think we'll just better end the conversation. My daughter's still a little young to be thinking about anything like that, she says, grin, sort of <laughs> grinning slightly at uh, Isabel. Now off you go. go. Go get changed and wash up. You smell like horse. Well, yes. Don't well, back chat. Go get washed up and come back down into the hall. I still count myself lucky that our dear Lord Father hasn't found me a husband yet. Well, most likely, with your interests, only most someone from House Dustin would be interested in you, you half-horse girl, you. Off you go. <laughs> yes, but none of them can beat me in riding. That isn't way too old. Just go get washed and come and have your breakfast, you <laughs> terrible little girl. Anyway, so uh, let's cut over to the other group. Which, uh, you're all riding down the uh, sort of big quotation marks on either side of this in bold. Uh, road that follows down the that follows the river down. Uh, so you're about. It's going to take you about an hour and a bit to get down to the lumber yard. Uh, so how do you guys travel then? By horse. Well, no shit, but I meant, uh... Fuck. Regularly, or sneakily, or what? Are you, are you riding pell-mell? Are you taking precautions? Uh, well, this is... I taking precautions, because, you know, there's bandits everywhere. Yeah, this is <clears throat> bandit land, so... Hey, do you guys want XP or not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's XP and then having to burn a destiny point because you get shot in the neck with a crossbow. <laughs> Meow. I mean, yeah, we want XP, but um, we have to play yeah, our characters as well. <laughs> so I'm assuming Godfrey takes the lead. Of course, I have the fastest horse, and I am probably the best rider. Um, you take your, you have you got like. To retain those two retainers out as a, uh, you know, um, outriders. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, sorry, I didn't hear what you guys just said. Um, you keep cutting out. Sorry. It's not your fault, it's me. I, I, I think it's because my parents are watching something on the telly. We're connected directly to the internet. Mm. Uh, mm. Didn't say anything. I said I will be, I will be in the lead. All right. Um, I, know, I assume we're, yeah, we're, uh, we're not going at a snail's crawl, be, checking every bush, but I assume we're going at a reasonable, careful, uh, caution pace. 
you're not galloping, but you're going at a trot. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming, Kestergal, you're sticking near uh, Lord Elric. Elric. Yes. yes. Okay. So what, what armour do you have? You wear mail, don't you? Yes. Uh, you got sort of like the uh, Norman-style helmet, you know, just like a metal pot with a nose guard or something like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. A simple helmet. Yeah. Ch- cheap infantry armour. Can't afford the proper knights. Great helm or shit like that. Not yeah, yet. I, 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 got, I put all my money into my weapon. Oh, is this a... Is, is it a standard... Oh, wait, no, it costs quite a bit, doesn't it? I was yeah. going to say, it's a castle yeah. forged. It costs only 500, 500 silver, so I don't know how that could have all your gold. But, well, ca- castle forged um, weapons and armor. I'm going to also have the sort of qualities for armor as well. So castle forged weapons and armor are twice the listed price. Yes. So, like a Castle Forge long axe would be a thousand silver pieces. Castle Forge really breastplate, sixteen hundred. That's a waste of money, in my opinion. Um, I mean, if you want it, you want it. So what? Yes, yes. If you want it, you want it. I mean, they feel like this. Plus one to five. A, it's a status symbol. If you mm. take it, it's like saying, "Bitch, I have money." Yeah, but you <laughs> have to say. Yeah, and then you're wearing in tin can armor. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the also, um, it's not just a status symbol, but castle forged items are some of the best made weapons. Like Theon um, Mott from the Street of Steel, all his stuff is castle forged. If you ask him to make anything but castle forged, he looks at you insulting and tells you you can shop elsewhere, you, you low born scum. <laughs> the only time he makes anything, he, his stuff can, technically would be like exceptional, or he works Valyrian steel and stuff, so. Anyway, so you're traveling around. Um, so I oh, will just need to have a look at your, pull your character sheets up. Hey, how many maester chains, uh, Valyrian steel chains, do I have to uh, get to turn into an axe head? <laughs> <laughs> a few dozen. Uh, no, 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 you'll think it. Probably a few thousand. No. Really? Chains Depends. are thick, my boy. I disagree. Yeah, yeah, you, have say, you have to get didn't a... say, You didn't say a whole axe, you said an axe head. Yeah, but this is a long axe. This is about the size of an average. The, the, this, head, this axe head is about probably the same proportions as a dinner plate, but much thicker. No, it's not much thicker. They're really thin. Well, that's at the edge, but you remember all the no, white needs to be I, in. I, I know what a Dane fucking is. I yeah. tell you, they're, they're about I like have, I have right. to agree right. with her. Okay. They're, they're not, they're not not like com- combat actions are really... Okay, yeah. So I just but needed... A fire axe is thick for a very good a reason. A fire axe is thick. Uh, a hoe is axe? technically an axe and is very good at what it does. Not very good at killing people for a reason. Did you have in combat? Anyway. Yeah. Trust us, it's thin. Huh. Maybe Money. the other side is th- is thick if it's like, I don't know, a pick side or hammer. What? Anyway, uh... Okay. All right, so you're traveling along your your river river trail um, down to Lombard. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's going to be about another hour um, until you get where you want to go. Um, anything you guys want to talk about? 
Right, do you want to role play with each other or do you just want to just cut straight to it? Looks like, uh, he goes, he goes, he, uh, uh, lifts, lifts the visor of his, uh, and when he goes, you know, I really need to get a specially made, like, ram's head helmet. That would be interesting looking. Oh, yeah, you're, you, you're wearing your Serco, are you? Yeah, which oh, is we the, could uh, always just find a ram and uh, glue the horn, uh, rope on some horns. Well, you could get the full head and just stick it on top of a normal helmet. True. It's a bit cheap, but uh, one of my cousins uh, he did that with a couple of crab pincers, just tied it on. <laughs> he did it look. Looked, like... It looked really silly in hindsight. <sighs> Uh, funny stories. What about you, Godfrey? I think he's talking to you, Farrell. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. What about you? Do you have any ridiculous stories your your family's ever done? Mm, not really. Yeah. My family were small folk. And I was too, before the war. Where I met your father. Mm. Yes. You didn't have any adventures as a small folk? Well, I mean... I am from Dorn, so of course I did have some misadventures. Poisoning with the quite... No, more like sleeping with a lot of different women, but uh, that was a long time ago. You make the eight? Yes, uh, I'm sure. Let us ride on. Alright, uh, so, let's see, okay, so that's your All right. Um, Gottfried, after your uh, interesting conversation with uh, Long Lord, Young Young Lord Elric, Eric, um, as you look turning back, you notice off into the woods um, a silhouette. Move back behind a tree, just at the corner of your corner of your eye. Like someone was watching us and hid behind the tree. Yeah, looked like a by. looked like a. It looked like a human silhouette to you, rather than an animal. Okay. Um, which direction? Yeah. Well, you're right, you're sort of riding southish to your left's the river, mm -hmm. um, but distance away because of the the uh, dirt path you're travelling on, and then there's uh, to your right, right onto the edge of the path, further back is the um, Ra Ramswood, as, you, as it's called locally. Local part of this woods, uh, heading off to the right. Um, so it was probably about a third of a bow shot, as you probably guess. You saw the silhouette. How much? About third of a bow shot. 
you know, cause you probably don't know what, what the difference between a foot and a yard is. So mm-hmm. that's your judgment. But, but probably about a third of how far you could kill someone with your bow with. Uh, but not close enough to be able to hear what I was saying. Well, you weren't exactly being quiet, um, but there is the river nearby, and of course there is animal life, so you might not have heard what they were talking. Mm-hmm. You might not have heard what you're talking about, but you weren't exactly talking about anything fucking important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, so I will lower my voice a bit and say, don't look, but there is someone in the woods probably watching us. Mm-hmm. There could be an ambush up ahead, so... Be ready. Squire, come here. What squire? You don't have a squire. Lan, sorry, wrong, wrong game. Lan, come here. Uh, well, did you ask Lan to stick with you, or was he allowed to go wandering around in the woods as he's traveling? Uh, usually he's supposed to stick. Okay, well, um, okay, at the same time Godfrey saw it, you notice that Lan sort of his, because I forgot you had the shadow cut, sorry, Lan's ear sort of perked up and sort of twisted in that direction, he looked over there, so he's sort of looking in the same direction. Uh, uh, Eric did make a few hand gestures, he goes, go. Go deal with that. Deal with it. See what that is, though. If it's a bandit, kill it. He sort of, uh, you know, tilts his head at you slightly. You know, sort of like cur- the cu- curious tilt thing. Most animals. Better not be a man hunter. And uh, then it basically sort of leaves the road and starts stalking through the woods and within a couple of minutes, a couple of moments of entering the undergrowth, you lose sight of him. Um, You travel for another 15 minutes and in the distance you hear uh, like a terrified scream which cuts off suddenly. And then about another 10, 15 minutes later, Lan comes back with blood on his muzzle, licking his chops. Well, he's dead, yeah. but it would have been if we were does, able... does it know the difference between a bandit and like some, and like, you know, just regular uh, small folk? Be sure. Too bad that we can't interrogate the bandit and see what it was well, doing here. I don't believe it would. Because you can't... How, how can you tell the difference between a bandit or an average small folk? Because mm. uh, remember, when you're, you're in a very dangerous... Your holdfast is dangerous that everyone goes armed. You sort of had to basically lower the thing that small folk are not allowed to carry weapons. Well, Eric walks around town, so Lan probably knows most of this. Lan wanders around town occasionally, so he knows most of the small. Well, maybe it's just like a, you know, relatively hermit that just wanted to get off the road because he heard... Like, How about a wind check now that he's dead? Oh, shit. So you decide to turn around and head back? And we'd... We passed by? I thought it was in front of us. No, no, he was, he was literally par- parallel to you. But I, I did say you travelled along for another 10 minutes oh, he, before you he heard the scream, and then 10 minutes after that, Lan caught up with you. He didn't follow. Lead us back to where you killed the man. Sort of thing. Yeah, you guys do actually find this really weird that this shadow cat... Not that the shadow cat's tame, that's not unusual, but the mm-hmm. fact it follows orders as easily. So, like, those of you not of the North, well, even even the Northmen find it a bit. So, uh, so everyone finds Eric, it's a bit weird that Eric's got this sort of, like, connection with this big fucking predator. Um, so, 
and that sort of confirmed when um, Lan sort of you almost get the feeling that he meows a short, turns around and starts going back the way he came. All right, let's quickly write there and back. Okay, um, Lan eventually leads you to uh, the undergrowth is quite thick here. Um, but you find like a, which you easily can see yes. with your uh, experience gone mm-hmm. through, that the um, undergrowth has been heavily disturbed and torn up. And when Lan sort of sits on sits on his haunches and starts cleaning his claws, uh, you find a disemboweled corpse with its throat and lower jaw ripped out at the base of a tree. Uh, a sort of like woodsman's hand axe just out of reach of its uh, right hand. Not a bandit. Um, well, he, he, he did have like a sort of like bald leather jerkin. Very, very filthy. Um, but that, that's, that is all he had at the moment. Uh, he goes... Uh, all- uh, Eric goes through his two men. You recognize this man? Uh, one of the, uh, the archer looks a bit queasy. He's the youngest of the two and goes, uh, well, with all due respect, my lord, I think I'd re- if I did know him, I think uh, I wouldn't recognize him anyway with his uh, jaw missing. The uh, older just basically uh, spits. He's got really horrible brown teeth. And goes, well, oh, no, I've seen him before myself, my lord. Mm. All right, everybody just say this guy mm-hmm. was a bandit, okay? If he was, you well, hey, 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 a 50 50 shot is still 50 50. It's an abandoned. You shouldn't be sneaking around the. Yeah. Shouldn't be sneaking around the woods like. I mean, what would you do if you if you heard uh, a bunch of horses coming down right. the path and say, "Are there any tracks? Men? I'm sorry. Are there any oh, tracks God. around here?" Yeah, hold on. Give me a sec, guys. You're all cutting in and out. All right, I think it's all right now. What are you guys saying? Uh, I ask if there are any other tracks around here like from where he came or where he was going if there was anyone else here before okay i will need you to make a tracking test uh a, if i don't have the special it's just a survival you just roll a, just roll a survival land tracking uh yeah sure if you ask land to go and have a look um i will I th- does he get Bonus from scent or anything like that? Do you know? No, I don't think so. No, Shadow it depends. Cats. Shadow cats. Oh, he gets a bonus one to his mm-hmm. tracking anyway. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you get. Basically, you roll. Uh, you roll. Five dice and the gate the lowest. You got a 15, did you, Godfrey? Okay. Well, I'm just going to roll his snake, this fellow snakes. Um, I think that's what you roll, isn't it? No, he'd roll survival, wouldn't he, to try and hide his tracks. Right. thing <laughs> okay well both of you do find his tracks um but to your chagrin why did you roll 5d7 i did that backwards <laughs> well, it should be 5d6 <laughs> oh so yeah or 7d5 Yeah, you know, give me character sheet for land. Well, it's... Would 
Which one are you, Elbrus? Uh, Brett K or... Um, Crispin. No, I meant, um, your... Uh, Rob tried to use a name. Um, Elbrus. Okay. Timoteo is Elbrus slash Crispin. Oh, so, which one are you, Vlad? Brett K. Brett K, okay. There you go. So you sort that out when you, during the free moment. Just roll uh, 5d6. Nineteen. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. So you both find it. The man, of course, finds it first because he's he's got fucking cheating nose. Um. But you both realise that. Well, you track him back to where you saw him initially. Um, Gottfried, and then. You sort of cut. You sort of come from deeper within the woods, um, but it sort of gets it gets cut so dense you can't really take the horses to it easily. After all, this is very woodland. Uh, I know uh, we are supposed to go to the lumber mill, but just in case there are, there's a group of bandits ahead. We should take a look. Yeah. Make the road safer, bit by bit. Well, you have to ask the fellow in charge. What do you think? Well, I said to look, so... Right, so... So someone should stay behind to watch the horses, just in case. Well, you can lead the horses, but because of like the low-hanging branches and the thickness of the trees, it'd be easier if someone led the horses. So you could have one of your infantry, like the infantryman, lead the horse or something. All right, yeah, you can lead the horse, and I will scout ahead. Have you follow? Right. I actually, uh, I grab my axe, so it's I, I'm wielding it now as we're walking through. Right. Yeah, you're a bit. A bit iffy about going into woodland because the trees are, you know, yeah, you're probably going to have to be a bit more careful with your swings you know, as you're looking around. Uh, but you think you'll be all right. I have my bow and an arrow knocked in my hand. Just yeah, you got a, you got one of those curved bows from SL7 here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could just you. I could just thrust with the top of the axe, do blunt yeah. damage. Yeah, I'm just giving you role play flavor. You know? Yeah, under under try and halfway uh, under somehow figure out how to half sword with an axe. Oh, that's easy enough if you watch Lord of the Rings. Gimli, <laughs> <laughs> twat the Urukai in the face. <laughs> well, it depends on the day now. L-type head, it does actually have a stabbing Yeah, some people do put spikes on the end. No, it has an actual... It's, the yeah. horn of the axe has been extended, so it has a stab. Yeah. It, it, the horn of the axe top part of the, the blade. The yeah, hold, hold on. That's if you just get... I usually find it easy just to find pictures so people sort of get the... um. This will do. Right. View image. Copy. So this, this is a sort of what this is sort of what we mean. You know, yep. it's sort of got the point at the end. Very simple design, but you know, gets the job done. Well, maybe it was paper.
Uh, anyway, so, uh, but that's just a warning that, you know, it just gives me, this has given me some interesting role play things if you get like failures or something, degrees of failure. You know, you could like get it stuck in a tree or something. Mm -hmm. um, right, so, uh, Godfrey, you follow the trail. Um, and after. You sort of realise that, okay, this guy's been living in the woods. This, this fellow was living in the woods for a while, but basically he knows basic woodcraft. You know, you wouldn't have had him as a, you wouldn't have hired him as a huntsman or something, one of your apprentice huntsmen, but, you know. And after about 20 minutes, you find a small clearing. You know, we're, we're not say clearing. There's still uh, the branches are still almost mostly touching up above, um, but like a couple of trees have been cut down and turned into sort of seats and all that. Looks like a semi-permanent camp. If you know what I mean, they've set it up so they can come back and easily set up, but they can easily leave it. They don't leave anything important. Mm -hmm. um, so you're there for about two or three minutes before the rest of the group catch up. Um, did you send Lan ahead, Vlad, or is he... Uh, so, Lan's with you, and he starts sniffing around the um, fire pit. No, actually, he doesn't sniff around the fire pit. Could you make a awareness check for Lan, please? Uh, Shadow Cats, if you don't know, have got a... Bonus five, uh, two notes. With a notice of two bonus, so... 21. Yeah, okay, so Lan wanders over to a um, sort of stump and starts sniffing around that. Feral? Yes? So Lan's yeah. wandered off to a stump, um, but there's like a fire pit, logs have been set up, looks like a lean-to's been left. In, on one side, well, enough lean twos for about five people. Twice that if they're comfortable with each other, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, fire pit. Um, and of course, the, uh, of course, the stump where uh, Lan's sniffing around. Are there any drags around the clearing that indicate someone, you know, other. The others have gone some other way. Uh, I'll need you to make another uh, tracking test for this because you're looking for new tracks. Yeah, one less. But... No, that's fine. That is fine um, because they they weren't trying to hide their tracks. Uh, yeah, you'd say about including the guy you just followed to this camp. There were another five, but they went off. Um, south. They went south. They went south. Um, you do sort of notice that the guy you were following apparently came from the north. Sort of followed because you sort of, you sort of, you know, you can tell his shoe, you know, his track. You sort of spot his tracks on the north part of the camp. It looks like he came in, then went towards where you you found spotted him. Mm-hmm. So your best guess spotted you leaving the hold far, um, spotted you leaving Ramsgate Hall, came and told his mates, then came to keep an eye on you. Right, and the rest of his mates went south, probably yeah. for Well, it could be attempt waiting for an ambush. They could be going to find the rest of their band if it's a bigger one. Mm. Um, or, you know, they've just moved camp to make sure you don't find them. You don't know. Um, so what do you do while you're there after checking for the tracks? Uh, I will check around the camp and see what's up. Either okay. Check. Who? For who? Their cat. Um, well, you're not there to tell him anything at the moment. Um, so he started clawing at this stump. But, um, 
I'm, get, I'm just going to suggest one thing for you. Um, as an experienced hunt, um, woodsman and tracker of men, I'm assuming, you probably would have checked the fire pit first mm-hmm. to see, see how, how old it is. Yeah, see how old it is. So it looks relatively fresh. You put your hands, and you take your glove off, and you sort of check the heat of it. Um, and probably your best guess that it was put out about hour ago, hour and a half ago, something mm-hmm. along those lines. So, relatively speaking, it's quite a recent fire, which means they were here relatively recently before they left. Uh, but just, but no horses, right? Only no, no, no horses. Like I said, this is very dense woodland. Horses have been an impediment. No, 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 that's uh, useful. So you're guessing these guys walked out with whatever they had. Mm-hmm. Um, what about that stamp that Lanny is uh, okay. scratching? Um, as you're walking over to the stump, you do knock something over near the fire, which when you go and pick it back up, it is a piece of leather that's been sort of shaped into a sort of arrowish shape, but it's got a curve to it. And curved Irish piece of leather. Best thing you could, the closest you've seen to something like this was when you were during the rebellion, and it was something. It was those uh, contraptions the Lannisters carried a lot of. These look like the leather veins used in crossbow bolts. Oh, well, the bands that are packing a crossbow. Which surprises but... you, as a crossbow is a very expensive piece of kit. Uh huh. Be much easier getting a, a bow or this, you know, in the north, a long bow. So, yeah, this is quite a surprising find for you. And also a bit worrying. Because mm-hmm. you, you saw what crossbows did. Yeah, they're pretty effective. You only need half, you need like a tenth of the training to use one. Just um, shoot. So I'm assuming you just pocket that in like a pouch or something. And you go over to um, Lan, and you find at the bottom, though there isn't much in there, right at the bottom you find what's left of what looks like a sort of wrapped up in, um, it's in a, like a leather bag, and it's tightly wrapped up, bag's like nearly empty, but inside you find like, uh, some salted pork, hard cheese sort of turning now and some stale bread so basically just a few food supplies um flint and steel uh stuff you know stuff to start the camp up or an emergency ration so this is like something you'd set up for your huntsman mm. as a semi-regular um hide for your men doing patrols and which you don't have many of them because, of course, it's very dangerous. But you have right. a few near near to the hall. Right, near... but if anyone came over to the to this camp, there would be some supplies to start it. Yeah, uh, they could easily restart fire, um, and there's some emergency food there. Um, near the stump as well, you find that the though there's leaf litter, if you move it, it's very damp and rotten. What you realise is once you, you know roll your finger around in it and bring it up and have a sniff of its fresh blood. Um, and up in the tree, you do notice what looks like something hanging ropes on. Best guess is that this is where they dress game and catch. So at this point, when you're sort of looking up from where it is to see what's up above you in the trees, the rest of the group arrives. Um, this point. So you see Gottfried on the other side of the camp from you, crouched down um, near some leaf litter, looking up in the trees while sort of like rubbing his fingers together. You find anything? Yeah. Found some things. There were people think, here, uh, around five. Hunters? In your own words, Feral. <laughs> If you, do you want to role play it, or should we just say that you tell them? Uh, let's just split this up and say we, we, I tell them. Uh, hunters or bandits? What I'm you cutting out again. 
Am I getting out again? Oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry, I keep cutting out occasionally. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, what do you think? Hunters or bandits? Well, could be either, but my mind is on bandits. Bandits with crossbows, at least one. You're showing the uh, leather vein. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you, mm, be Peltagar, okay. you recognize a, a, a crossbow vein very easy. It's a very common weapon in the south. Mm-hmm. Um, and like Gottfried, you're honestly surprised. They're not common up north. And to buy one, because they don't use... It, it, it's not suggested to use wooden quarrels for, you know, wooden bolts for them. Usually they're made completely of metal, but with the leather veins to make them more... Um, so they hit harder. So you don't know what the bolt, whether they're making their bolts themselves, but like I said, unusual. What... That's the main thing I'm questioning. What's the <clears throat> what, what's something like what's something like a crossbow doing this far up north? I don't. I mean, I don't think uh, any bandit from like uh, the Riverlands or south of that or in order to be like, hey man, you know, north and become bandits there that doesn't really sound like a. Well, a for some thing. reason, they have a crossbow, but I found the tracks. The only the fire was. They abandoned the camp only an hour ago, and the tracks were going south, so we'll still catch up to them. Hmm. Eh. It seems that they left after the other man that uh, Lan killed. I alerted them of our present after we left Ramsgate. Well, might as well uh if we have the trail, we might as well follow it. At the very least we can get a, we can get a crossbowman off the, out of the area. It's probably okay. for the best. Um as you guys are talking, um Eric, you notice Land's managed to get get hold of that, that food that was there and he's he's eating the cheese. Which uh Don't eat that. No, no he's already eaten it, but he loves cheese, but he really doesn't agree with him. <laughs> He's sort of licking his chops now and like giving you like, well, you didn't sort of look like, well, you didn't tell me not to. <laughs> hey, what's the size of a shadow cat? Um, Lynx? Mm, yeah, okay. Lynx size. Okay. Yeah. I, been, I just looked up like some images because I wasn't entirely sure what shadow cats were. Uh, like, I knew basically what they were, but I didn't know, like, what they actually looked like, and they looked like miniature fucking tigers. And yeah, so, they're all strong. They looked like, look like dark, uh, striped uh, lynxes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're about the size of, uh, I'd say a, a large link. Uh, lynx, not link. More like a Lynx. Yeah, but... To be perfectly honest, that's big enough because lynxes can easily kill a man. Oh yeah. All right. He's like, okay, link. Okay, okay. Uh, Lan, can you uh, find the trail? Well, I have the trail. But I wasn't talking to you. Oh shit! Sorry, no. They're they're actually somewhere between between the real world tigers and mountain lions in size. Mm, so they're bigger. Yeah, so that you've literally got a I'll pet say tiger. A, yeah, pet tiger. That's insane. <laughs> that's ins- that's literally insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah. How how. Uh, you have to f- okay. What? How much does that thing? Eat? You're literally have to feed it small folk or bandits in this case. Well, no, it can feed itself. That's not a problem. Yeah, well, what does that thing go hunt? Yeah. Bears, by the look of it. But anyway, that that's a picture of the sort of size. So that's how big it is compared to a man. If you put that fellow next to him, 
I, I, I sort of didn't realise how big this fucking thing... I thought it was only the size of a lynx. But but I'm well, agreeing to it now. It doesn't matter. The picture in the... Is yeah. a lynx. Yeah, it's, so it's a tiger-sized lynx with black, that sort of blackened blue striping. You know, really good at really good camouflage for night time but yeah so big bastard <laughs> um but yeah remember there is a lot of game in the woods and uh land sort of learned that you're not allowed to eat people unless eric tells him to <laughs> oh yeah eric sometimes goes hunting with him but eric isn't very good at he he, he... That's what the Louisa. That's actually how he found land. He found land as a cub uh, when he was lost in the woods, and uh, he, ate, he gave him some meat, and uh, he helped him get home. Yeah, I'd, I'd say his uh, land's a bit smaller than than the normal shadow cat, you know, because that's probably why he was left alone. Because he didn't find a dead parent, you know, runt of the litter, but well fed. He's he's still hefty animal. Like, since he's a, since uh, most usually take on characteristics. <laughs> oh no! So he probably acts uh, kind of kind of stuck up. No. <laughs> God, Pete. Eric just like, yeah. Okay. What am I gonna do? With Uh, you sort of get the feeling that if Lang could, he'd be shrugging, <laughs> and then just walk, walk, wanders off uh, towards where the other the uh, other bandits went, sort of flirting his tail. Uh, do you want another track check? Um, yeah, sure. So th this was going on while Gottfried and uh, uh, Keltgar were talking, and. Uh, Lan actually walks between you two, going towards where uh, the others went. <laughs> right. Let's follow. And keep an eye out. Fred, I really should tell, should have have like have have Lan accompany you on your patrols. Why? <laughs> You, you cut out, I didn't hear that. Uh, and he, he just points, he was like, because it's a giant shadow cat and bandits would be afraid of it. And they can... Well, I guess so, but just a light step. The point is not to be heard or seen, so. Yes, that's what I meant, said was are natural predators. Predators, so. I have a problem. Anyway. Right, so uh, Lan leads the, sort of leads the way. So he, he knows where he's going by the look of it. Um, and uh, eventually, you sort of realise you're about... You're about 10, 15 minutes further. You sort of lost track of the time because of, you know, the underbrush, the... the um, Canopy and all that's blocking out the sun and all that. But you guess probably you've been wandering for about um, half an hour. Um, so you're about ten minutes from where Lan came back to you after he was sent out to kill that first bandit. Um, when uh, he stops and sort of like, you know, lowers himself down in the underbrush. Um, and the only reason you didn't like, trip over him is because you saw where he was before he did it. So I will need all of you to make a stealth check. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You get out for me. I need you to make a stealth check because Lan spotted something or heard something. Sure. Okay, 
I'll be with you in just a second. Take your time. Just making the uh, stats for the bandits. It'll be easier than me typing everything in then. Okay, so. <laughs> Did I just press a? Oh no, that's someone else's stuff. So... Uh, Chat between yourselves while I'm sorting this out. Have you guys seen the new Adventures film? What? Daryl, he did say it's chat between yourselves. I wasn't sure if it was in character or out of character. Uh, so. Out of character, in character, however you want to do it. If you want to talk about your tactics in game, out of mind. Uh, well, Eric is like. <clears throat> Well, there's probably maybe five, ten bandits, so... Yeah, clear some, uh, the ground and gets a few rocks. Okay, so... <clears throat> Godfried and, uh... Tons the Archer, what's your name? What's your name? Who, hey, the Archer and the Swordsman? Yeah. Oh, that, that, he just got a spear at the moment. Um, the Archer goes, uh, uh, Hector, Hector, my lord, and the uh, older um, Guardsman uh, goes, uh, Brandon. You're with me. Brandon, you're with me. Hector, stay here with Godfrey. Lan, <clears throat> soon it, sneak, it, sneak around behind them and ambush them in the rear. Salty guy. Salty guy, you're with me as well. So, we go. In the uh, points of the rocks, me, you, Ran, go, sh go straight, go at attack from the front, Ran sneaks around back, and Celtigoy, and the guy's name I just forgot, cover us with arrow, cover us with arrow fire. Wait, wait, you want Celtigar to cover you with arrow fire? Not for no. Me. Okay, me because I was about to say I have one marksmanship, that's where I put my one in. I, I literally I try to throw an, a throwing axe. It lands on my foot. <laughs> One time I threw a spear and it landed like ten feet behind me. Don't even know how that was possible. Skill. One of those times where you lucky it didn't land on you. I like I was trying to play catch with uh, with as a little kid, and to, like. Making sure my my uh, my uh, uh, Creston Celtigar couldn't have any more children. Huh. <laughs> oh, dear. Um.
So. Okay. Do I need to roll snake? Uh, anyone that was involved in with, with Eric's party needs to roll snake. Uh, so I've got Godfried had twelve. Eric had sixteen. Is that uh, just self? Sixteen. Eric had. Right. I'm very inconspicuous. I'm just standing like as still as a crab. And by as a crab, like you can totally see so, my, like, my coat of arms. Uh, I could just stealth, please. What was that the seven you rolled? Okay. So you weren't the worst. Um just, uh, just hand roll the guardsman, hold on. All right then. Um, so, uh, what would you plan? Oh, 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 let's head to the. Uh, it's almost harvesting season. How do I? I'm not fucking track everyone there. Oh, there you go. So, sorry, this is a blank one. Can't find a proper woodland thing for this. Um, okay, so I need everyone to put their tokens in. Can't fucking see the colours on this. All right. So, although this is all supposed to be woodland, this this map, apart from that brown bit, that's the start of the um path. That's, that's the path you were going down. Um, the area between the path and the green lines is supposed to be a more less dense area. Right. Guys. Yeah. So. You've come from the north, so I need you sort of like on the north side up there, please. Um, so this is all dense woodland. Um, yeah, up against the, uh, the north border, please. Uh, could you put a token down for um, LAN? Or is that the... the token? Hold on, let me... Uh, hold on. Uh, need a picture. If you could just put like that one of the pictures and just put it as a icon at some point later and that one we can tell all right so oh god it's been so long since that's been the dm i forgot where all the shit is Okay, I forgot. How, how do you get the um, turn order thing up? I forgot how to do that. Mm, well, I, have, I can't remember. It's been years since I've actually uh, been... It's somewhere on the left, on that little toolbar on the left there, yeah. I remember, if I remember right. There we go, found it. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've had the DM as well, so... Uh, numerically descending... Don't even know how turn orders work in this game. 
I completely forgot that part of when I skimmed when I last skimmed the rule book. Oh. Roll agility with your quickness bonus die. In the event of a tie, whoever has more bonus die goes first. In the event of another tie, the person with the higher roll after a reroll goes first. Add infinitum. Okay. So, let's put a token for bandit. Hey guys, I think I should just charge straight ahead, take the crossbow bolt just so I can activate Berserker. <laughs> How about I just take the crossbow gate before he fires for shot? I, I, will call, I will call that a plan, not a very good plan, <laughs> but a plan nonetheless. Well, it is a plan, so. Uh, why don't I have any bandity pictures? They're actually quite annoying. Uh, oh, there we go, that'll do. I am so tired right now. My coworker uh, uh, didn't come in at all today, so guess who had to take up his cleaning duties in the last uh, uh, last half of our shift? Sounds like. Yeah. Fuck! I fucking hate this shift. It, I, I work two to eight in the morning. It's just freaking annoying. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, you'll make yourself checks. Um, now, unfortunately, as you're sneaking up, uh, Sir Keltigar, unfortunately, doesn't look exactly where he's going and bumps his head on a uh, low hanging branch which, as he's wearing a metal helmet, makes a noise, and uh, you hear one of the bandits go, SHIT! BEHIND US! So, everyone, please now roll initiative. Alright, I, I, I yell um, a random... Has it, Wait, has anybody ever here uh, played Mountain Blade Warband before? Yes. All right, There's a lot uh, of screaming in it, but yeah. Yeah, and, and her, uh shout... Random uh, C uh, C Raider catchphrase. Yeah, probably I'll go with the best pot. ones. I will drink. I will, <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't do the voice. Is there, do I will drink from your skull? Or no, I'll say it's almost harvesting season. That's okay. always a good one. So each combatant tests agility. Bonus dice from quickness apply. So, all right. So. Uh, remember to when you're rolling the initiative to select your token when you do it. Um, oh. okay. Sorry, I, I can just add you. Hold on. Uh, how do I add people? Did that add, did that take away the penalty, or does the penalty apply to this armor uh, penalty? There aren't any kind of right click token add to. Um, no, you don't add penalties. It's uh... sorry, I'm just moving so I can see what's there. So you got a ten. No, planning. Wow, damn, six days. Jesus. Oh uh, yeah, guys, remember to have your token and all the circles and stuff come up when you press um, roll your initiative. Oh, I know it doesn't work on this, does it? Fuck. 
No, I, I think it doesn't work on the system. On the character sheet. Oh, what well, complaint? There's a complaint we can add. <laughs> I go back to go back to anywhere. I'm, I just couldn't see the um, add to turn thing until I moved you. So you got a nine, and a clever got a fucking ridiculous twenty-two. What did Eric get? Okay, so. Uh, now we add the bandits who go as a group because they're mooks. <laughs> Why well, am I not surprised? So. Alright, so uh, descending. Okay, so first person to go is Lan. Uh, kill. Okay. Lan has. Well, you should, you should have all his movement and stuff written in, so. Uh, shadow cut. Movement eight yards. Okay, uh, he's so each square's a yard, so it should be. Yeah, every cell's a yard. It does say feet, but you know. You can change that if you want to. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't actually have yards in it for some strange reason. Yeah, but you already. Yeah, there's three feet to a yard ish. So. Yeah, so that's basically just use meter. So it's it's just eight squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you can get into combat. Charge attack at uh, this guy. Uh, when a shadow cat charges, it may make two attacks. One when it's claws, another when it's bite. So fuck. Yes, but remember, he takes a minus uh, 1d to his attack. Yep. Uh, but he gets uh, an additional damage. Okay. Uh, ball. Ten. So, does that hit? No, oh, well, the other one. Okay, so... Um, the uh, bandit has quite a girly scream, <laughs> even though he's quite a big bloke. Um, and Lan sort of bowls him over and starts clawing at him and trying to bite him, but you know, they're sort of rolling around, so you can't tell kind of what's happened. Um, game wise, the first attack hit, which was with his claws, seven damage. Um, well, depending on degrees of success. Well, his athletics is four, his strength is one, so it does five damage. Did, did you say it did plus one because of the charge? Charge, yes. So it does seven damage, it's only passed, it's not got any degree of success. So one degree of success. So, yeah, there's a, they're rolling around a bit and um, lands, you know, yowling and growling and shit and the other guy's screaming his head off. Um, and then it's your turn now, Rick. Uh, is, is, uh, Ken, is, is, is it open enough to mount for mounted combat or no? Uh, it's really dense where you are. So, not everything. Um, I would just colour it in, but, you know, it takes too much time, but uh, everything outside that um, circle I've drawn, ish, where the bandits are, is really dense woodland, and I would give you negative tests and misfortunes would happen if you tried to ride. The area there is open enough that you could ride quite quite easily without any minuses. Of course, you'd have to dodge trees and all that, and they get covered and shit. 
still. Um, so probably not for the best. Mm. You could try if you want. Eric's going to try anyways. So he basically calls for his horse and uh, the infantryman comes forward with your horse. Well, takes your horse off the lot. Runs back to get your horse, so it's going to take him a round to come back with it. Because, of course, they couldn't bring it too close. It, you know, horses make noise and shit. Right. So that means it's now your resident madman's turn. Wait. Yeah, we are talking about you. Uh, I I take great offense to that. All right, how many spaces can I move? I'm not used to this. Uh, system. Your movement is four yards when unarmed or unburdened, unless you, with bonus dice you might move faster. So what's your um? Don't your forget your bulk. Bulk also reduces. Yeah, yeah, but what what's your? Do you have the run speciality in athletics? Uh, no. Okay, so you move four yards, um, but you're wearing mail, aren't you? Yes. Just bulk two, which means you can only move three yards normally. Uh, I have also got one bulk from my long axe. One yard. I can move one yard. Does it round up or down? In this. What do you mean round down? Well, he can move four normally. The bulk two yep. armor lowers it down to three. Yes. Um, because you've got so half the total time. bulk. But when you're doing normal movement, you half your total bulk. So if he's got a bulk of three, half that would be one point five. Uh, I don't know. Down. Yeah, you think it rounds up? Because I can't find, I could never find where it's. Set. Um. So, okay, house rule. What? How do you guys want to do rounding in this, up or down? Usually rounds to the nearest whole number, so by round to the nearest uh, whole number. Yeah, but you're one point five, which is halfway. I'd say round to the player's favor, guys. I want everyone's opinion because it's going to affect everyone for the rest of the campaign. I thought the minimum was two. Uh, well, I have no idea about the system, so I don't think I should. Give okay, it my you can reduce your Also, are you on horseback or not? Uh, no, he's he's on foot. Uh, okay. I don't. Uh, you, I think you can actually just be lowered down to one yard because of you know you're carrying so much shit. You're a slow bugger, but you know that's you know carrying everything but the kitchen sink. But uh, that's what I want to ask. Do you guys? Because he's currently got three bulk, which two bulk would lower him down to three. Four would lower him down to two. But he's sort of in the halfway grey area. Unless you guys know where it says whether they were supposed to round up or down. Okay, so first off, how much bulk does he have? Because you're three. supposed to have. Uh, he's got three bulk. Uh, so I think you round bulk. that down, so it's one bulk. Actually, no. In quick armor, he, his character slows down when he wears armor. Armor has three in armor. I'll reduce his movement by oh, one. Oh, so it rounds down. Rounds down. Yeah. Yeah. And for every two bulk successes. Yeah, okay, uh, so it's every two bulk. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, you can only move three yards normally, which if you run, that's three, six, nine, you can run 12 yards. Uh, a charge. Charge uh, is a full, I think. Run? Well, it's, uh, I know it's a full, but. Two weapon attack, mountain attack, attacking stage, pin, assist, catch your breath, charge. Uh, charging those by movement with attack, you may charge opponents, that's up to twice your movement away. So you can charge up to six movement. So you can either run 12, charge six, or just move three. One, two, three. Simple action. 
Oh, wait. Just... Nothing. Alright, and then I guess use... It's a lesser uh, action, I should say, sorry. Alright. So wait, uh, if I charge six, what's the drawbacks of charging? Uh, besides, uh, is that just using the rest of my action? Uh, not... Get a one D penalty, uh, but uh, you uh, get one plus. Yeah, you you lose a dice on your attack, but you do an extra two damage. That's so just for the turn, right? That that's yes. that's a great yeah, charge, that action. great action. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so all right. So what I'm saying is, I just want to move as close and not be not have to worry about it because it's it's starting to take me like more than one turn to get into combat well, range. If you anyway. want to sprint, um, it would be four, eight, twelve, sixteen, take me three. You could, if you could sprint fifteen yards, so fifteen squares. But that's a greater action. That'd be your entire turn. Well, I mean, I don't have any range weapons, so I don't really know what else I would be doing. So you want to sprint then. So if you move another twelve squares towards your chosen target. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Um Right, so it's now uh, got free to go. Okay, so question: Which one of these guys has the crossbow? This one. And he's currently um, taking aim towards the crazy crab knight. Okay. Um, how? What is the range of a uh, crossbow? Not a crossbow. Uh, uh, your bow. Double curved bow. Yeah. Um, it says that a double curved bow has long range, which means it can hit. You can have a clear shot for a long range weapon at a target up to a hundred yards away. For every hundred yards distance between you and the target, you take a minus one in your marksmanship's test. Okay, so is that enough? I'm, I'm assuming it's enough. Well, 42 divided by 3. Sorry, because that's the problem with this game. It's in yards, but Royal 20 doesn't support it. Which is a pain yeah, as but... Yard as long is... as you have a ranged weapon, the opponent is not too far. You, just, you always you can, have access you to it. just change it to meters. Meters are pretty much as okay, close to it. You're within as... range without any minuses. Okay then, then. Uh, yeah, because he's on the wrong side of cover to get cover, so. Right, so I expect so he's you to be on the road. Yeah. In range. Yeah. Uh, without cover, and I'm going to take a great direction to, for a double shot. And pew, pew. Ouch. So you've got. Two degrees success on the first one, and three degrees success on the second one. Mm -hmm. My damage is seven. Uh, yeah. Uh, you, first one, four. The first no. one takes him high in the chest, and the other one uh, actually takes out his left eye and pins him to the tree he was hiding behind. The crossbow bolt discharges into the ground and basically goes between your legs. Keltagach. Uh, sweet. Um, so oh, let me just put a cross on him. And that is more. Okay, so that one's dead. Um, the bandits retaliate. So the guys you're facing. Um, one's got a wood axe, woodsman's axe, and the other two, one's armed with a hand axe and a, looks like a hunting knife of sorts. And the third one's got a uh, very rickety looking shield and uh, what looks like a longsword that's been snapped off halfway. 
but the end's been sharpened up. So, uh, guy with the wood axe, who's this fellow here, uh, decides to charge um, Kaltagar. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, he starts running towards you, but he's just out of his charge range. I'll make four. Well, I can charge. Oh. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, No, he, he charges towards you, but uh, you know he's holding his axe over his head, screaming his head off. Um, the one with the uh, axe and the knife does the same thing. So, so and the one with the shield um, charges Lan, and uh, he gets to stab Lan. Oh, sorry, no. He's got a spear. My mistake. Uh, what's uh? Yeah. So Lan basically rolls off the uh that you can now see as a corpse, um, and starts growling at the uh bandit, who's uh looks like he's regretting his decision now. <laughs> Um, so now we go back to Lan the Clever. Uh, Lan we should say Lan, Lan the Cleaver. I mean, he was going to name him that, but you know, that's a. Anyway. Uh, he's going to make a charge attack at this guy. He can't. What? Well, he's in combat. He's already engaged. Gonna make a, a claw attack at the guy who just tried to stab him. Yep. Uh, yeah, that gets through his uh, combat. Yeah, that gets through his combat defense. So he does uh, what claws? That's five damage. Five damage. Um, guy screams like a like a little girl as his uh, leg gets torn up. Um, but he's still standing. So let me go to Elric. Your horse has arrived, sir. <laughs> there you go. He gets on his horse. Yeah. He's going to ride uh, forward. It's a uh, lesser action to mount, right? Yeah. So you use the mounts moving in place in your own, and you gain one bonus dice and fighting test made to attack non-mounted opponents. Well, he's moving is another action, correct? Yeah. He's going to move to the so, and that's the end of his turn. What horse is it? Uh, what's the movement of the horse you've got? He's oh. as a Destria. Destria. So their movement is six. So you can move six squares towards whoever you were targeting. Harry, you were over here, weren't you? So, one, two, three, four. So, you'd be about here. Now, it's probably a good idea to walk through until you get into the slightly open area. So, Keltagar. Uh, can I make a free action to yes. speak to Lan? Yeah. Yeah, free action. Lan, don't kill that one. We need him a lot. We need one of them alive to interrogate. Okay. So, Keltagar. Unleash your fury, sir! <laughs> oh, I move up, and then I'm going to do something that, that's going to be really, really cool. They're under a roll of long X. Ouch. I think whatever you've done, you've just fucking split the guy from um, chin to cock. So whatever. Two sixes, plus four to base damage. So how much damage do you do with that weapon again? <laughs> 
Uh, I think I have five damage dice. So nine times how many degrees of success? Uh, well, you got five. Uh, sorry, not five. You can't get five in this. Three degrees of success. 27. Well, they've got combat defense of 10. And 27 and doubles that, and there are two sixes. It's a... well, every five you go over your target number you need adds a degree. Every four, not five. Every four? Okay. Four, eight, twelve. Okay, so four degrees success. 36 damage. Uh, so I'm just going to assume this guy doesn't exist anymore. No, what is the long axe a vicious weapon? Tell me yes, the long axe. It is. Vicious. It's vicious. And he, he is dead. He's, he's <laughs> very dead. He's well, dead he's a mook anyway. He was dead anyway. You split him from crown to crotch. Yeah, he uh, uh, long but axe no, is both thing. one powerful. Reach if your weapon doesn't have the vicious quality, then you can choose what you do to a victim. However, me and Keltigar here both have vicious weapons. Our opponent's going to. Uh, yeah. Oh wait! So uh, I increased the damage. Wait, wait, wait! I increased the damage uh, oh. by two anyway because uh, powerful and I have two. Uh, two yeah, so it should strength. be your athletics plus three, plus your strength. Yeah. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it should be nine damage. You should be doing. Um, and your test should be, uh, you should take one of your bonus dice off, so it should be five, because long X is a one, uh, one die. I think the, all right, I got to look at it again, but I'm pretty sure it already accounted for that on the uh, on the character creator I was using. One, two, three, well, you've got six still listed on your test, and you rolled six extra dice when you did the test. All right. Well, so with, a one, one. with a minus one. Yeah, but he's only got... He's got well, fighting six with axes of six. So just, uh, just strip off one of the l uh, yeah. lowest numbers. But he, he, what I mean is, is oh, I'll do it. So you just lower no, the testing to five. Roll, no, what you do is you roll six dice and then you strip off one of the test dice, lowest dice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He, he still split the guy from. Yes, very good. Cramp, like I said, cramped a cock. But I, I just changed it on your character sheet. For when you do the combat roll again, so no, I think that doesn't it doesn't what I, I know. We had this argument last time, so I uh, so I just start, I just start leave it like it uh, like uh, how he changed it. A certain rebel, uh, whenever a weapon indicates one, two, one B, two B, and so on, train you lose an indicated number of bonus dice from your fighting or marksman test with the weapons. Yeah, you just, okay, so you just lose bon bonus. That's what I, yeah, that's what I've said, and I've okay. just changed it on the character sheet. Bonus. Anyway, so either way, you split him in twain. Blood goes everywhere. Um, screen gets cut off. Um, you know, blood, gore, brain matter, every, all the nice things about medieval post combat. Um, so your turn, Ash. Okay, so which one? Uh, so as you said, this one should be alive. We leave him alive. Yeah, he's just told Lan not to kill him. Right. Uh, fortunately, uh, there is a great ass nobleman on a horse between you and that target, so you're probably going to have to move slightly. How about here? Yeah, that's a clear line of sight, you know. But what I mean is, you know, from there to. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to double shot. Uh, we've well, just moved, which is a lesser action. All oh, right, so only one. Yeah, you probably only God. need one. Yeah, God damn you! Damn you, Eric! <laughs> and your fat horse ass. Horse ass. Twenty-five. Well, yeah, I, I think you fucked him up. <laughs> Seven damage. Points to me. Okay. 
Are you um, rolling your weapon thing or just directly the marksman thing? Oh, this time I roll directly, directly marksman. Let me uh, either, roll it because it's wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. I have two more dice. On oh. my... yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, here. Less, but fine. Four, eight, twelve. That's still three degrees of success. Yeah. He did. Uh, yeah, he takes the arrow in the throat and just basically drops his weapons and starts, you know, holding his throat. His blood pours out and he fall, just basically falls forward. But he's not thrashing about for the next couple of minutes. Um, okay, goes to the bandit. The uh, band, uh, last bandit, seeing uh, their companion die, um, starts shouting, Are you, are you, are you? Um, in a very, f in very feminine tone. Land says, uh, hold, hold him now. Um, okay, Land just basically starts moving forward. The bandit falls over backwards and just like stands on his chest, just glares at him. Eric goes over, goes, he gets off his horse, he goes, hmm, so, uh, why, I know why, what you were doing, hmm, so, I'm gonna give you, uh, take off your helmet. Um, the bandit removes the helmet, and you realize it's a woman, a young, like a teenage girl. Yeah, good thing I'm only half ironborn. Yeah. You sure you don't want to take a salt life? Um, I don't think that's allowed in the north. Is that what Godfeed says as he comes over and collects his arrows? That wasn't me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I do have to collect my arrows. Oh. And this guy's crossbow. Okay. Um... The arrows that are in the guy with the, just just to tell Godfrey, um, the arrows that are in the crossbowmen are fine. The one from the guy, which is the one you're just closest to, um, is broken, yeah. but that was from his thrashing and trying to pull the arrow out. He snapped it, so that's fine. Fight three, lost one. Yeah, but you can get the, the important things. The arrowheads still intact, so it's a guy in the north. I don't think salt wives are legal. Eh, who's there now? Let's Moving start. on. <laughs> how, about, how about we find out how she they got this crossbow? Did you get the crossbow? Yeah. It was given to us. Who? What I know, never met him. What do you look like? I don't know, I never met him! Mm. Who met him? Uh, I'm trying to think of a name. Um, Duncan! It is a name. Which were these again? The guy with the crossbow! Huh. Well, anyway, who are you? Were you planning like... to ambush us when we were down the road? <laughs> We were told, uh, or, um, oh, fucking names, um, Donald, George, Han said he saw you leaving. Uh, so, so Duncan said we had to come and get, we had to, uh, try and ambush you now. Oh, Han, Han is, uh, you know, he, 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 he's had a bit of a, how would you say, bad stomach? At this point, um, Lan pairs and starts uh, sort of like contempt pair and licks his, licks his chops and short cottons on and goes, Oh, God, please don't eat me. And then you realise she's uh, she pissed herself. I, I know mean, you usually use this as an intrigue, but I think you've just scared the shit out of her enough at the moment. <laughs> um, Are there any more Members in your group, or is it just you? 
Oh no, this is all of us! Did I actually start crying now? <laughs> we head back to the back to the keep, boy. We no. do still have a oh, mission. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, make sure to uh, take all uh, the bandits' heads and put them on the roadside as a warning. Good point. Okay, Godfrey, as you head over to the um, uh, bandit, the one with the crossbow, uh, you notice that he's actually uh, wearing chain, a uh, male, male shirt, which... Uh, it's not as worn as the rest of his clothing, and the crossbow's quite new as well. So they are new. Are there any um, identifying marks from where it could have come from? Nope. Uh, you notice that the crossbow did have a maker's mark, but it was uh, it was uh, chipped off. Um, can I try to search him and see if he has anything else on him? Something that might help me find out how he acquired these two things. Yeah. So you search him. You don't find any like notes or anything like that. But uh, in his left, you find two gold dragons. Two whole gold dragons. Two gold dragons. I mean, one gold dragon is during going the report. <laughs> no, two. Oh, uh, you mean 20 silver stags was found on the... Uh, on the <laughs> <laughs> I think Godfrey's point is, what the fuck are two bandits, are a bunch of bandits doing with gold dragons in the first place, let alone two of them? How did your friend get this? I've never seen them before! Well... Alright, let well, me just calm down for a second. Just tell me one thing. When did your friend Duncan here get this crossbow and the chain? A couple of weeks ago. Okay, where were you a couple of weeks ago? Were you here, down south, Ramsgate, where? Uh, further south, some fella came into the camp, uh, dressed like the rest of us, said someone wanted to talk to Duncan about an opportunity. Duncan went with him came back with the chain and crossbow and stupid amount an amazing amount of food and said everything was going to change all we had to do was just keep an eye on 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 the lord and his and his retainers see where they're going what they're doing and if possible grab or kill one of his kids mm. Mm. where's your all right that's enough Okay, could you roll an awareness, a uh, notice check for land? Could all of you roll on a notice check, please? Notice. Boy, for land. I, should, uh, I forgot to change it. 18 for me. I'm assuming that 24 is for <laughs> land. Caltagar, I know your character's busy, but could you make a notice check? Wait, uh, it, oh, uh, we're, that's awareness, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay. Um, here's a noise from further in the woods. And then what sounds like both of the retainers that were left back there with the horses, um, the older of them basically goes, uh, screams out, what the fuck, and gets cut, cut off. Um, and when you guys turn to see what's going on, you see... Uh, the Night King? And like twenty White Walkers. We're a bit too uh, south. A for man that. on a Destria in heavy chain with plate, covered in with a black surcoat, comes riding out of the woods, swinging the morning star, and he's got a plain shield as well. 
that man didn't just kill one of my soldiers. He's gross. just rearranged one of your men's face with a with a morning star. I think you can guarantee he's dead. Hmm. Well, I guess this woman has a new job after we're done here. Um. Now, uh, who got twenty? Who, okay, what you know is not free. Is behind him. Your horse is being stolen. My horse is being stolen or is being? Being. The only one that brought his horse was Elric. Everyone else's horses was at a um was being guarded by your two soldiers. Uh, I'm uh, very sorry, Tavian. God fucking damn it. Fucking sandsteed. Motherfucker. No. Really, nigga? Am I cutting out? No. No. Okay. okay. So, everyone who wasn't on their horse during this combat, their horse is being stolen. You can see, you can see a figure leading the horses away. Is it, can I see, since I can see the figure, can I shoot the figure? You can, yes. Then I will. He's, but, I will say he's just got a bit of cover because of the amount of trees. Okay. Um, because, like I said, that's the dense bit. So, train. Uh... Isn't dense cover like five minutes? And Yeah, I'm just having a lot of obstacles. When standing behind an obstacle, crouch down behind an obstacle, bystanders, things and stuff. Uh... I think the terrain modifier is five minutes. <laughs> Well, that's just mainly movement. So what I will do is I will make that just a... He gets a plus two to their combat defense because the trees are in the way because he's not actually hiding behind it. Okay. But, you know, heavy trees, you might, you know, you might just move as you release. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you want to do. We'll just do... So we need to do initiative again. Can we re-roll? Uh, yes, please. Sorry. Hey, I got the same thing. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so you stay where you are. Guys? Yes? Sorry. Just not... Sorry, he gets 15. Yeah, the content is just... I'm clicking and it's running away from me. Wow, well, I'll just roll for bandits. You got a nine. Okay, and what about Lan? Unless he's busy. Okay. So, so. all right. So, Lan gets to go first again. What do you order him to do? Stay on the bandit or? Uh, Eric looks over and says, You move, or we consider making you my salt wife. <laughs> oh, God. Are you for real? <laughs> I think he's in love with his ironborn heritage. A bit too much. I mean, fuck it, you do you, but I mean... Are you sure? Well, I think it's, it's entirely up to him. It's entirely up to him. I mean, it's kind of an idle threat. He's probably not going to do it. It's just... But, yeah, either way. I 
close enough to uh, kill the guy stealing the horses. Yeah, you're within, well within range, that's fine. Yeah, he's gonna make a charge attack against the guy stealing the fucking horses. Who is? Lan. Oh, Lan! Sorry, I thought... Sorry, wrong person. Um, I thought it was Godfrey saying he wants to shoot. No, the uh, horse thief is about... Uh, hold on, let me get another bandit icon for him. So he's about over here. Because that's where you kept the, the horses were just outside of the map. Well, within range of shooting, don't worry, but Lan won't be able to charge him in time. What about the guy with the morning star? Um, hold on. Oh, come ah. on. Deploy your piece of shit. There it is. No, oh, no, there's not two of them. And so, can you uh, do me a favor and knock that guy's horse out from under him? Oh, let me just run this. Okay, so you ask Land to charge the robber knight. And attack his horse. Not on nightly if, the, if, the, if, the, if Shadowcat does it. <laughs> oh shit, Cinco de Mayo, I just realized. Alright, so Land makes a charge. Uh, his charge would be. Uh, twice his movement, which his movement was six, wasn't it? So yeah, you can charge the horse. Thanks. Oh, fuck, my connection's been interrupted. I'll be back on in a second. And six. Oh, God. Yeah, by the way. So. Yeah, I know I'm still in the chat, but my Roll20 connection's been interrupted, so nothing's happening. Uh, what's the horse's uh, armor? Uh, well, it's the Destrier's combat defense is 11. So it misses both times. Oh. Alright, so basically goes for it and tear but what I'm gonna say is as it tears his gam uh, like the the gambus the um uh tears at it and you sort of realise that the uh horse has got some like leather protection on its uh, neck and chest and on the side, so it's got a bit of like le really cheap leather barding. Oh come on internet. I mean, Celtic are just moving, we can just tell you what's happening. Yeah. That's when I need to do my stuff that's going to be the fucking problem, isn't it? I'm just reloading to see if that helps. So, yeah, um, I, I just want to go and... and... Actually, we probably could have waited. Oh, no, he, he has initiative six, so... Yeah, we're just, we're just going to say that's because he's having to ride through those trees. Just want the enemy to move to me for once. What? You, oh, you don't want a man on horseback charging you. You want to do? A, you want to do a William Wallace and scream at him and hit the horse in the face? Yeah. I sell to go to your turn. Okay, uh, all right, I guess I'm gonna run at the guy. Uh, one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, let's, all right. 
Or actually, let me let me read something really quick. I just need to check the rules on reach. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Never. It imposes a penalty now. Screw that. Yeah, so on downside of long axes, they do a hell of a lot of damage, but they are a pain in the ass once you're getting close. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, need to read reach again. When armed with a reach, button, it's not adjacent. You can roll a fighting test with a reach. However, attacking foe. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's interesting. I have to be far away to attack them. All right. Mm. So this is three yards, or is this two yards? Me attacking him. Um, each square is a yard. Okay. So. I, I for future notice I have to be here uh, this distance away from somebody if I want to attack them without penalty die. I'll take your word for it because I still haven't loaded back in yet. All right. And then then it's uh, mine and uh Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Thank the gods on back, or your tokens have not appeared, which is a pain in the ass. So I'm still loading up. I'll need Nate. Right, so seriously, you have to be that far away from him. I, yeah, I guess because, alright, from this reading of Reach, it says. <laughs> When armed with a reach weapon, you can attack opponents that are not adjacent to you. You can roll a fighting test with a reach weapon at any, oppo at any opponent up to three yards away. However, attacking any foe inside three yards with a reach weapon imposes a penalty die on your fighting test. What the fuck? Three yards? Yeah, that's fucking weird. Uh, okay, I'm going to have a look at the... Because they did add mm. something that was like a advanced rules for reach. Advanced reach. I'll have a read of that and see what that says. It says that long reaches. I mean, like three yards. That's really that's really strong. But the, well, uh, I mean, I guess that makes up for the penalty you get for attacking things close to you because th that three yard uh, range is like is. that can be very uh, exploitable. I'm thinking. Well, the thing is, reach. that's not on. That's not on harder. You could actually. When people used to do bayonet thrusts, this is one technique the Germans used to do in World War One, which it, people eventually learned how to counter it, where they would thrust forward, and you, I think it was like, they could do pretty far, I forget how long it was. Yeah. Well, the upside is, you've got such a stupidly good yes. axe fighting, that the minus one really doesn't do much for you. Mm -hmm. So, you get like a minus two, mm -hmm. so it's on four. You might want to like make a second weapon one and just put long axe or axe in reach or something. Um, but yeah, you're still going to basically kill and hit most things you're fighting no matter what. Which it does actually make you incredibly dangerous. Because <laughs> people are going to try and come in with a knife and shank you with the long axe and then you're basically just going to prove that you could basically kill them if they were trying to hug you with it or not. <laughs> <laughs> It's your turn. Uh, yeah, well, it's Bandit, which is not the... Um, why isn't everyone... Oh, still haven't got everyone loaded. It's been a bit... <coughs> but where, where you can see the uh, cowed icon. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. In the north part of the map, he's basically just you know trying to deal with the horses because they, of course, don't recognise him and I think a couple of them are war trained, so... Turn. Here you uh Hello? Hello? Um uh, I'll be back in a second, I just gotta grab my dinner. 
Okay. Got it. I'm going to bring Animal Keep playing, but I just have to go grab it. I'm going to go get a snack. Okay. Should take maybe like five minute break? Yeah, probably. Oh, mistakes. It's all of that. Oh no! I don't enjoy you spitting food on me. Wait, I just realized something. Is, is, is your pet dragon spitting food on you, Cash? No, it's, it's my cat. You have a cat and a pet dragon. <laughs> no, she has a, a condition that makes her not want, makes her lose weight, makes her want less. So I have to force feed her. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll take a five-minute break. Wait, that just reminds me. Uh, uh, I just got reminded of something. So you know how Black Panther has like vibranium armor, right? Yeah, that means he can probably like pet and cuddle like big cats without like having risk of getting bites and stuff like that. Okay, what? Yeah, well, the, 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 I don't like, know, but the vibration might vibranium might protect yeah from the crushing force. Well, to be fair, plus you saw him get shot with bullets and shit, and it didn't really affect him. Yeah, so he can uh, like you know totally like. Hug a freaking tiger and not risking like you know his his skull crushed or something like that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because that's cool. He comes out without any like um bruises or even cracked ribs from getting shot repeatedly. So. Yeah, but I think he also has like or yeah, he's got super strength as well. Yeah, super durability as well. Mm. Hmm. All right, so uh, sorry I've had to leave uh, you and Black Raven sort of in in the ether for a bit. But um, once this combat's sorted, uh, hopefully you'll be able to get back involved because this is a very very unusual situation. Well, I've been entertained. You've been entertained, have you? <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been doing. I, okay, I admit I'm playing Diablo. We can see that. <laughs> Actually, says so on the Discord. <laughs> yes, because I have. Uh, yeah. Well, Diablo three is play that while still keeping an eye on what, what's what's going on. Uh, it's not exactly chess. No. So how are you guys enjoying it so far? Pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, all right. I'm yeah, I've got, I've got this. I was thinking about what we're going to do, and I had this story pop into my head. I thought, yeah, that would be good, which is um, what this this is. Mm. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy the uh, little story I've got. He's looking forward to episode four tomorrow. You mean today? Oh, oh yeah. You guys don't get it. Yeah, yeah. don't rub it in, you bastard. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Um, I'm probably gonna be. I've been so sleep deprived already. I'm probably gonna like conk out at like 
in in a couple hours and miss it. Well, for me, it comes out at five past three in the morning for me. So I either stay up to watch it, which I probably won't because it screws it like like you said, screws up your sleep. Um, oh. Or I watch it in the morning. Oh. Which means about Don't get water. four or five hours after it comes out. So <clears throat> what we're we talking about, what did you guys think of episode three? Yeah. I think that's everyone's opinion. It was good, but it wasn't as good as you could. I make mean, there it. were certain <laughs> aspects that were that were okay that were like you know it's like hard to not enjoy a good a good battle scene and whatnot all you guys spectacle. see on the article about the complaints that total war players made about the tactics used in it oh yeah yeah i mean that, uh, that i mean i I, right. I didn't say it but it should be good I mean, I, I get the complaints, but people forget that the Dothraki are sometimes legitimately retarded when it comes to tactics. Yeah. Their, their tactics yeah, are legitimately they run in there. Uh... I, it's, it's still dumb, but it's in-universe dumb. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes and no, though, because aren't they led by Tani? Like, she could order them to do something, they wouldn't be yeah. forced to do it. Like, See, that's just sloppy writing if you just you know yeah well it was to get i think it was a sort of way to get rid of them as well because they were probably oh, yeah. a bit they were the biggest problem with danny's army um but the other thing they complained about was like why the hell did they put their artillery out in front? oh yeah that, that's the thing that i didn't understand um another complaint they had was when the trenches were lit why didn't the archers continue firing right. into them and again if they had still had their artillery they could have fired into the mass um one person made a complaint that anyone with a sense of tactical mind would have left an opening that the whites would have gone for so they could funnel the numbers and hit them hard yeah like the how they did in um uh, infinity war yeah yeah, they just opened up a small hole to let them come through. Um, and uh, but that was the main complaint. But the, the one thing I have to say is, okay, they had good ideas, um, but the Total War players have to remember that um, it's they say the exact same situation would have happened anyway, uh, because unlike Total War games, that wasn't a battle they could win. No, it's about as killing any of us as possibly could without. Well, have you guys ever watched World War Z? Uh, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that displeasure. Yeah. Well, the bit, probably the only thing I was happy about that movie was how the zombies acted. Um, Literally, you saw that when they when they ran up to the the walls and basically piled up on themselves to climb over it. Yeah. And then um, when they were literally almost acting like a tide of water when they were charging through the city. Yeah, that they is... were crawling over. Yeah, it was it almost looked like a wave of water coming down the streets. Yeah. Um, that is literally how zombies would act and exactly how the whites were doing. They were just hitting the walls and climbing up over themselves. Um, and swarming was literally the best way to describe it. The so... episodes. I haven't seen episode three. I haven't seen any of my wait till the season's over to watch all. Of them. No, so I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch. Paul, you should. Sorry, if we'd have known you hadn't watched it, I wouldn't have started talking about it. Sorry about that. I'm kind of over the series. The only way I'm gonna watch it is after both of the books come out. Yeah. Only then I will consider it. Well, my whole thing is. Well, sorry, I think more characters should have died. The... Oh. Yeah, that, that's another thing. More people should have died in that. Uh, like, the books and it, well, they can't just more people. This, but the sorry? books and the uh, TV uh, you cut out. I was unable to. The, there's something said. wrong with the setting on this particular server. Where, where the hell you have it set up? So it doesn't happen on on the others. Uh. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm confused. 
Oh, I just started it. That was it. <laughs> Uh, it's in Western Europe. Okay. Um, it, it might be um, might be the people, the government of the European Union might have started slicing through the internet connection. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, you were saying something about the books. The difference between the books in the series. The books in the series are not. Uh, no, they're not. They're not like TV series are an alternative universe. Yeah, I know. I I just said that the only way I'm going to watch the series is after the books come out. Yeah. I read them and I get the. Uh, yeah, Thormund and all, all them sitting together. Literally, a lot of people I was talking to be said, and I agree with them, that that was almost like, here are the people that are going to die in the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Trin, um, at either Podrick or Brienne should it, uh, most like well, Podrick probably. Not, not Brienne. Brienne. Not Brienne. I, I mean, I, w I was thinking. Talking about, yeah, Brienne if was we're talking about die. like old school season, like uh, season like one through four, Game of Thrones, then yeah, Brienne, uh, Brienne could have died, and that would have like really reminded people, yeah, fuck, you, fuck uh, like screw you, no character, uh, no character your side characters aren't safe. But the reason yeah. I thought that is because Brienne just got knighted, and, you know, that's the thing she's wanted her entire life. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, At the same time, there is a prophecy regarding her. Yeah, I just figured that's that. Tied into line to Jamie. Hmm. Jamie is most likely. Why can Cersei die and all the the lower oh, Cersei, Cersei, Cersei is absolutely going to die. Because remember, the, the prophecy says her little brother kills her. She thought that's Tyrion her entire life, but that still applies to Jaime because he came in out after her, even though they're twins. Well, I hope she burns. Well, the thing is, look at one of the uh uh. Posters for uh, uh, for Game of Thrones season eight. Uh, her skull came on amongst the piles that the night was on. Okay, I'm gonna relog because you keep getting out on me for every second. Every that must be you, because yeah, you'll do, you, I'll, I'll do it as well because you're doing it for me occasionally. So That's where the server is. Marco wants to spy spy on people. Anyway. Okay, so is everyone ready uh, ready to continue? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's uh, Godfrey's turn. And you said you wanted to shoot the bandit, right? Yes. The one in the back that's selling my fucking horse. That's <laughs> one expensive Everyone's horse. fucking horse. Yeah, but mine is the most expensive. Okay, go for it then. Okay, um... I'm going to take the double shot greater action, so unos, dos. Enjoy. Uh, okay, so that's 4, 8, 12, 16. Wait, don't you lose a uh, lose dice shot? What? What? I think what she's saying is if you do the double shot, don't you? Isn't it harder to shoot? Uh, I don't believe so. Ooh. I just checked it. It said 
But take minus one D on each test. Uh, no, that's not it. Double shot. And you're doing that anyway, aren't you? Double shot. A great job. Uh... Yes. Do take a minus D. Minus yeah. D on each. Right, so it has to be... I'm going to make a second thing. But no, what you do is you look at those tests, take, move the lowest dice. Yeah. Yeah, but it'd just be easier if you made another one so that yeah, next that's what I to, said. Yeah. So, um. Right, so that makes it uh, four test dice, right? Uh, well, what's your marksmanship? Uh, marksmanship six. six. You got uh, bow training of three. Yeah. Uh, the double hunt, double curve bow is already losing one bonus dice, so that goes down to two for your normal shots, and you get one bonus dice for double shots. So on the on the weapon, do I put test three or two or two for the normal shots? Because the normal the bow's got training one um, one day, which means you lose one bonus dice. So that goes down to a two. Oh, and that's what it means. I thought. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you lose bonus. Which is why anyone with fighting with no longsword uh, speciality gets a minus to their actual full test if they use it. Use a bastard sword, stuff like. That. So the double shot would be one. Okay, so the double. Okay. You want me to reroll this time, or should I keep, we keep this? Ah, uh, we'll leave one? that for now, but. Now yeah. we've got that sorted. So, so yeah, you put uh, two shafts in his spine, or his kidneys, I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you kill him anyway. Fucking Robin Hood. Uh, <laughs> Good enough, yes. Um, and he sort of hits the floor going, ah, ah. Uh, The horses get spooked and you know, bugger off in different directions, but they don't go too far. Um... So that goes down to Lord El Eric. I keep wanting to say Elric because you've got that fucking L there. <laughs> anyway, I think it's I think it's spelled Elric or Eric. I don't know which one. It is. Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep saying Elric because I keep I keep I keep trying to say it, saying it. But anyway, it's your turn. Uh, he's in a charge and target this guy's horse because. Um... So one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can charge him. You sure you want to target his horse? Am I going to be in trouble with the fucking night police? No, but there is... Uh... Your sister will kick your ass. <laughs> you had a horse, you bastard! Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she will never find out. And... Attacking Steve. Attacking Steve. Although deemed dishonorable to attack us, right? It's... Uh, it's... Yeah, there, there are some people that would have really harsh words to you about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, Alex's like, ah, oh, yeah, I don't want to do, he's like, ah, oh, he's like, oh, well, he goes, I don't want to kill him, but, uh, shit. You can pull him off the rider. Oh, uh, no, uh, Alex has a war, is holding a war lance. It's a vicious weapon. Huh, just charge the son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm going to charge at him. Uh, minus so, one, minus one so D, you already get minus one D for yeah. Warlance and minus one D for, but uh, charge. It, it's negated because as long as he's fighting Neo, uh, uh, Lan, he gets a plus one. But that's just a plus one to your roll, isn't it? Or uh, he's got a castle Lan. Uh, he's got an animal cohort. You get, oh, you get an extra D to your fighting test. If if his if his if his if his guy if thing is he's, right there. Yeah, well, he's, he's about to charge against a guy that's already fighting his animal companion, so okay, he yeah. does get the plus one to. So it. that negates the charge. But so uh, twenty-two. So you got twenty-two. Animal handling plus four for a war lance. 
Nine uh, plus four, plus two, uh, plus how many, whatever strength you've got. Wait, yeah, you're are you, you're on foot, are you? No, he's on horseback. Okay. So you charged. So the wall answers animal handling plus four, uh, plus whatever your bonus dice and strength is, if you have it. Okay, and plus two for the charge. So that's animal handling plus six. Uh, so that's 11 damage, would agree. Uh, and here's combat defense. Here's, hold on. And he's got a shield. So. Okay, so he's. I'm going to say half plate, didn't I? Chain plate. So that means that gets lowered by five. All right, so six, ten, fourteen, eighteen. Yep, four degrees success. Uh, is, is he an important character? Not re No, not really. He's just like a slightly nastier character. It's sort of between a mook and an important uh, named character. Well, and then he can take wounds or injuries. Yeah, well, it's vicious, so... Uh, well, vicious doesn't negate that ability. Well, vicious means any time you kill a character, any time you lower a character to zero hit points, they die. Yeah, but... Uh... Is, they can take wounds. If he's Good important power. enough to be between that, he's, he can take a wound to negate all damage. But he gets minus. Okay. Value. Well, you basically twat him straight in the torso, and um, he goes flying off the back of his horse. Um, and basically just lies there groaning after you've left this dent in his chest plate. <laughs> Uh, well, I just said he's on the ground groaning. He's not getting up. I think you, it's quite obvious you've probably cracked cracked a through few ribs. Wounds doesn't paralyze you. It just gives you a minus one deed all, all tests. Yeah, but role play wise, I'm just gonna say he's like, oh fuck. <laughs> and that is, uh, what happened to Edric's Warlands? Uh, it's not fragile, is it? Big um. Ah, well, basically, you still well, got it. Um, the probably yeah, the, well, the, it's not fragile. It's only dead. It's only the torn. It's only the twenty nine that is fragile. So I, I do uh, walks. Uh, oh yeah, these have got points, haven't they? Okay, so. You you hit him with it, and um, you had to let go, but he's actually got the lance stuck in him. He goes, uh, uh, he goes, so is there any more of your men with you, or is it just you? Oh, God. Sorry, you've got robot voice for a second there. Could you say that again? Is there any more men with you, or is it just you? Well, I th I th he's basically groaning and going, oh! with a fucking lance stuck in his ch like, sort of abdomen. I'm going to uh, go gather the horses. Hey, uh, quick question. When are we going to be done with this? Uh, probably about half an hour, unless you want to finish up now. Uh, Do you need to go? Yeah, I, I need to go. Uh, you guys can continue on. All right. Um, just say that, you know, he collects the heads to bring back to Lord Mulfin. Yeah. Starts we gathering all their valuables, you know, boots yeah. and shit. Put the heads on, keep, uh, make sure the, uh, put them on spikes, distribute other bandits and whatnot. What, do you leave them here, on spikes? Uh, well, you can no, just on the road, either uh, uh, back at the, ca either at the keep or back at the, ca or on the roadside, whatever, whatever the lord's, uh, uh, the lordling's, uh, desire is on that. Um, Alright, well, we'll see you, we'll see you, um, next week then. Alright, see ya.
Edric. Yeah. I, uh, Edric's like, ah, oh, fuck, I don't think we can get go to the lumber mill now. And he says, we're we'll gonna go. Sorry, back. could could you repeat, start, start over again? Yeah. I don't think Close we then. can head to the lumber mill. I think we should probably head back to the castle. Okay. Um, well, uh, as, as, um, oh, God, names. Roger. As Keltigar starts walking over to the robber knight, uh, pretty obviously he's going to take his head. <clears throat> um, no, the no, guy. No. Uh, uh, Edric's like, no, we're going to interrogate. We're taking him back to the castle. He, he raises his helmet and goes, I yield, I yield. <laughs> Tell to go, go, go retrieve the lady, tie her up. Someone, uh, get, uh, mm, tie her up. Uh, he goes, uh, Edric goes over to the, who, who, who did the guy, uh, bash his skull and scully bash in? Um, he's bashed in your, the, one of your infantrymen. Um, and the archer's dead as well, but it looks like he had his throat slashed. Uh, get, he sl easy, uh, Edric gets off and uh, slings the bodies over the horse. He goes. Celtigar, get the heads, and we we will have these men brought back to the castle and buried. All right. Uh, Godfrey's comes back with all the horses. And then go far, because they're trying not to wander off too far. Um... Assuming you put your guys over the backs of their horses and uh, tie the ro get the robber knight back on another one after. Um, uh, Ride back to the castle. Yeah, I'm assuming you've had to break the wall, Lance, um, because yeah. it's alright. Yeah. There, there's there's others it's back in the hall. No, no, but what it is is if they pull it out, he'll bleed to death. So yeah. the best thing to do is to chop it and leave it in there so it's not so we can still ride and not bleed out instantly. So I'll just say there's another one at the hall. So that man not be riding at all. Well he might die anyway, but you know, they might as well try and keep him alive long enough to be interrogated. Go back to the uh, we transition back to the castle. So what time is it when we get back to the castle? Okay, well, you left in the morning, took you... So, it's about midday when you come back. Uh, hold on, let me just move you back to the... Oh, what's happened there? Can you see the background there? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um... There we go. So you head back to the um, you head back to the hall. Um, so Tavion, I'm assuming you're back to train. You went back to training after you broke your fast. Raven. Hello. Probably a AFK. Yeah, all right. Um, okay, so just assume he goes back to training Harold, uh, the fucking taskmaster he is. So, Isabel, you've had to spend most of the morning practicing your embroidery. Um, then. Uh, so most of the morning doing embroidery, but you also have to learn some of the ladylike things, like how to run a household. Uh, you know, how to furnish a house. Shit like that. I have no idea what they know personally, but whatever. Um, Basically following mom around. Yep. Um, your father seems to be in... Because uh, he, he caught a bit of a... Your father's getting on in years now. He's, well, he's uh, probably in his late forties, so he's gotten better from that chili ad uh, the last couple of months. You know, and that cough's cleared up. 
Um, but again, he's he's polite, he's polite, but he's really fucking. He's obviously really pissed off about the uh, news you heard. And distracted. Um, still says good morning to you and all that. And, you know your daddy's little girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's the only way you get. The, she's the only reason you get away with the whole learning how to fight as well. Uh, yes, um, my father. Sorry. Yes, father. You were cutting out again. Sorry, what did you say? I said good morning, father. He goes. Oh, morning, Isabel. <sighs> uh, what are you doing today then? Well, mom has me, well, <clears throat> polite. Mom, I'm pulling mother. <clears throat> You're hating every minute of it, aren't you, dear? Yeah, I have to. Let's put that back there and that should be done. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, mom, mom has me following her around. Apparently I'm uh. ladylike enough. Well, if she wants to take that uphill battle, that's entirely up to her. <laughs> he says, chuckling slightly. <laughs> yes. uh, but oh, in all seriousness, oh. in all serious, sweet thing, um, I'm going to have to ask you if you go riding for the next few days, a few from now on, to take a small, a slightly larger guard with you. You mean I have to drag somebody along? You have to drag a, I'm thinking, four, maybe six men, people with you? All right. Fine, Father. <laughs> Although, Look, I'm, I'm not being... Was, doesn't it strike you on that they would steal a number? Well, it's our most valuable resource. Yeah, but... Lumber is like, it's not like you just stuff it in the back of your back pocket and take it away. I don't like, that needs, and then also, they have changed our lumber. So they took crappy lumber, changed it with our lumber. That's, that's not normal bandit stuff. Or at least I haven't heard any bandits doing that. Well, neither of heart I, to be perfectly honest, which is why I think it might be uh, might be one of the other lords, one of the other real lords. They might be. Uh, I don't know why they would do anything like that. We're not exactly a prosperous house. Mm, I don't know. Somebody it's not has... much just a. He, he thinks about it and goes. Eric hasn't pit, hasn't. Uh, Let's say, got on the wrong, got on the wrong side of another law. Um, one of one of the other lords' heirs, has he? Or he hasn't slept with anyone he's not supposed to. No, that's something. And I really shouldn't ask him. something to love that to you, my dear. But you are closest to him. To be honest, I'm closer to Harold, but he's my twin, Eric. Well, he trains me. Out. Sorry, what? He does train me to Joust, but he keeps his own company for the most part. So I don't, I don't know. You'll have to ask my brother. Yes, I'll have to talk to him. And besides, I don't follow him into the bedroom. <laughs> I let the Lannisters do that. We've all heard the rumors from down south. <laughs> uh, wow. Anyway, oh, well, you're not the only one that's not going to be enjoying himself today. I've got paperwork and I've got to write letters to Lord Roswell. Well, it would weaken Lord Roswell if you know, he lose houses around him. Well, would be. We're not exactly the most strongest of his lead bannermen, to be perfectly honest. No, but um, the only thing that would really affect him is a loss of income from selling our lumber. Well, yes, but it would also take direct him from 
from um, having to deal with us. So it might be a, we might just be a secondary target here. It could be. It's anyway. It's not my, not my forte. They were at the monitor. Yeah, she. Yeah, he looks at you, and you sort of. I'm assuming you both have the same opinion of politics. <laughs> I imagine so. Um. Hello. I do have some good news for you. Dude. Look like. Looks like there is going to be a major tourney in the Westerlands in the next few months. Uh, to celebrate Prince Joffrey's name day. Oh. So well, that's another one we've heard a lot of rumours about. Heard he... Very Sorry? nice. That's another one. That's another one we've heard a lot of rumours about. <laughs> so, he's apparently very nice. Very, very nice man. It's not our place to judge the no, King royal no. family. And he is still our prince, and eventually will be our king. Um, but yeah. I thought you would like to know, and with all this trouble at home, and hopefully to keep you out of trouble, I'm willing to have Sir Tavion take you to the Westerlands with an escort to go visit, go see. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes, I'll, I'll enjoy myself a lot. And you can consider this an early names day present. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for the rest of the day, uh, rest of the morning, you continue on, and then you hear a horn call. Uh, ran, well, you, come, you come down for, for lunch. Um, your father's there again. Um, looks like he hasn't moved from there. There's a lot of papers and all that. He's decided to stay in the main hall. Um, which sort of acts as his solar at the same time. Um, so you sit down to start having like, um, like a venison stew. Stew. Um, when you hear a horn call from outside. And uh, one of the guardsmen comes in. And goes, uh, she goes, apologize me. Apologise, my lord, milady, milady. Um, looks like uh, Lord El Elric's returned early, and he's got prisoners. So two, two of the retainers that went with him have died, have been killed. Well, it seems my brother ran into some trouble. What? <laughs> Almost knocked over his food. Is my son all right? Um, yes, he's fine, my he's, he looks fine, my lord. Uh, Godfried, um, so Keltigar, uh, seemed to be all right as well. I don't think any of them were hurt, it just looks like the men that went with them were killed. But it looks like they have some wild woman and a goddamn what for all appearances looks like a knight as prisoners. A robber knight, I guess. Um, I Edward hope. basically almost forgets that he's like missing his leg. Sorry. <laughs> well, no, she's just Hello? like. I guess he took a robber knight then. Yeah. Well, Edward almost forgets he's for a second almost forgets he's missing his leg and tries to stand up and sort of nice and goes, "Damn!" Uh, looks at you and goes, "Go out and see see if your brother's all right." And find out what's going on and have him coming here as soon as possible. All right, Father. Well, I'm pretty sure he's all right. Oh, what is <laughs> wrong with Discord? Location of your server. Go out and greet your brother. Yes. Um. So, does Isabel go out and 
Hello? Hello? You cut out. Yeah, I, we're all cutting out. Fucking internet. I think it's my internet connection. It's just Discord. Discord shit. Even though it's... Oh, I mean, Mumble walks pretty well, but it has to set up... Uh, it's pretty, we can try that. Yeah, but, well, well, I don't know, because this is weird, because I don't have I don't know. other Discords. Yeah, like, I had a game on Friday, and it was perfect for five, five, five hours. I think it, I've had problems with my internet bandwidth at this time of evening, because the, I think BT screwed up my one. But, um, so, yeah, I do apologise. Um, so... Uh, we, Edwin's just asked us about to go out and speak to her brother, find out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, so she cracked a joke about his thick skull and, and headed out. Um, when you go out, first thing you notice, uh, apart from, uh, is, that, is that the Robin Knight, well, Eric's holding half a lance, and uh, the Robin Knight's got, apparently got the other half stuck in his chest. Well, uh, hello, you've uh, been guessing. Question, is Land covered in blood or did he clean himself? Oh, well, you didn't give him really time to sort of sit down and have a proper groom, so. He's still covered in splatters of blood. If you have... Uh... Shadowcat whips off someone's head, it's probably going to be covering a lot of blood. Yeah. Well, it basically just, uh, I mean, once it's got time to sit down and give itself a good clean, it will do that, but, you know, you were moving. So it wanders off for a nice uh, sunny spot to start cleaning itself. Yeah, 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 whatever, Lan. Well, you can't um, Nobody wants to be covered in three feet of blood. Uh, the Robber Knight starts, um, gets helped off the, ho off his horse by some of the guardsmen. Take him, uh, to, take him to the maester. Uh, and he's sort of like muttering a bit as he's been taken away. And the, uh, the woman, uh, the female bandit, basically, you know, snot down in the face and all that, snot and tears and all that, crying. Uh, has to get dragged off her horse. She's almost hysterical with fear. Mm. Saying something about, Don't let it eat me! Don't let it eat me! <laughs> so is Lan really that terrifying? Yes. <laughs> it depends who he's paring his teeth at. Uh. Yes. yes um, I imagine that he's pretty terrifying if he's standing on top of you with his teeth bared and at your throat. Good point. Uh, and uh, she, he uh, takes the two men and goes, make sure these men get a proper burial. He goes, Who, do you have those two gold dragons? Yeah, Godfrey's still got them. Godfrey, do you think it, since these men serve the family house well that we should make sure the families are taken care of? You give them a fucking gold dragon, they're set for life. <laughs> Not entirely, but yes, if they invested well. Not for small folk. He goes, can you, <clears throat> Godfrey, can you go fetch those two guards' families? I wouldn't know they are, but I guess I can ask one of the master terms. Have them do it. Well, if Raven comes back, um, he can roll by telling you because he's the master at arms. Uh, <clears throat> awesome. Tell the maester I want that man stabilized or as best as he can do, and then him brought to this brought to the hall. Let's go addressed father. I can tell you right now that the maester's not going to be able to move him once they take out the lands. Hmm. Okay, then have him brought to the hall. All before he has the lance removed. You realize that he's probably going to die. You're you're going to have to take him to. The, you're going to have to go to the uh, to the maester. Fine, fine. Where father meet us at the maester's tower. 
Uh, most of Rome, he doesn't have a tower. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Paul is the highest part of the building. Uh, it probably lives I in the I'm not sure the maestro would like that, actually. Mm. Kind of anyway. pointless to put them in the goddamn tower because he still has to carry and take care of people. And sometimes you can't get people upstairs. Um, at this point, uh, your lady mother comes out and goes, What's taking you so long? Your father wishes to talk to you too. Very well, mother. Uh, should I, should I, do I have time to remove my armor? It's kind of... No, in with you. Father's waiting. Fine. Godfrey, come in as well. You might as well give your report while you're at it. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay, so yeah. he goes. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, mother? What should I do? And he, uh, he goes. What should I do with the sack? And he just he goes. It's full of heads. She looks at the sack and looks at you and goes, "Really?" It wasn't me. It was so. Crackerhole inc insisted on taking the heads to put on. Did she... who did? Crackerhole. Are you sure he's Valyrian and not fucking Ironborn? No, Sorry, you're going to have to repeat that again. Vladimir. Vlad. Because I'm Celtic. <sighs> so Celtic uh, gets with. Goddamn internet. Well, no. He was me too. Uh, so Celtic are... Yeah, Celtic Kel Kel insists on doing it. Uh, hold on. Give me, give me a second. Are you sure, Elric, uh, Eric, that he's not, you know, Ironborn? The Targaryens, the Targaryens do like taking people's heads off. Well, burning. But... I don't know. I don't know about that. Everyone likes taking <clears throat> heads off and putting them in spikes. No, no, not everybody. Well, not people in the north. Or Dornish, because we're civilized. Do that in the north. Yeah, yeah, right. That's why you're kind of down in the south. Nobody wants oh. to talk to you. <laughs> there exactly. we go. Hopefully it's sorted. Sorry about that. Um, so, last I heard, your lady mother asked, why did you bring the heads back? The guy insisted on it that we should mount them on the road or on the castle walls to deter bandits. <sighs> you know what? I sometimes wonder if he actually is from Crab Island, or if he's one of my, one of the another Ironborn. Uh, so be it. I'd rather it be put on the road, though. Well, she um, and one of the guards come over and goes, "I'll do that, my lord." Hey, well, and I he tosses him a silver and says, "Yeah, that's not a fun job." Well. Uh, me and the lads are going it, heading up to Ramsgate anyway. But thank you, my lord. <laughs> he hands him two more cells. Get, get, get the get the guards. It's something to drink. Uh, sort of. Like, to celebrate the or to um to mourn our dear uh, comrades. Comrade. Yeah. Well, Brandon was a bit of an asshole, but he was our asshole. And he was. There he was. Par pardon my language, my lady. I do apologise. I'm sorry, my friend, but I, I'm in the I'm in the stables most of the time, unless Mother drags me off to do broidering again. Unless you be that as it may, my lady, we really shouldn't say stuff like that around you. I apologise. Uh, and he sort of heard those guys. Can't say a straight line without something full. <laughs> he sort of bobs his head and then uh, him and his uh, small squad of men basically uh, mount up. Well, no, they don't mount up. They start marching towards uh, Ramsgate. Ten squad. Anyway, um, so heading to the hall. Uh, your father's still at the seat he was at and he's uh, now finishing his, finishing his meal. 
And then he's sort of mopping up the last of his stew with a heel of bread and goes, All right, lad. All right, lad. What the hell happened? Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, Lan, you look to him and goes, Well, he's not here. No, he's outside. He's still cleaning himself. Well, we were traveling to the sawmill, and uh, Lan, well, Godfrey, Godfrey, uh, found saw someone, someone uh, stalking us. Found out it was a bandit. Land quickly dispatched it. We followed the trail to the camp, and we followed the trail to where they were planning on ambushing us. Killed them. Then this, then a robber knight and some more bandits killed two of our men and tried to steal our horses. Are you sure the fellow was a robber knight? He wasn't just getting involved thinking you were fighting small folk. No. Definitely a robber knight. He was definitely helping the bandits. Well, he bashed one of our men's head without saying anything. Knights usually do not do that. He's too well equipped, Father, to be a. Uh, and he's his friend uh, slit the other one's throat. And uh, and uh, he uh, uh, Godric, can you give me those two gold dragons? Dragons? We found two gold dragons in the boot of one mm -hmm. of the bandits. They were. He also had a crossbow, new crossbow, as well as. But you've uh, got a new quite crossbow. a new. Uh, mail. I have the. Yes, Godfrey yeah. has the two dragons. Yeah, well, I'll give them to you. Yeah, you also got the crossbow. Yep, the crossbow, the mail. So well, he looks at the gold dragons. You, um, looks... If you'll excuse me, I'll uh, go to the maester and help him out. So I'm pretty sure he's going to need help to get that lance out of the man. Uh, it's not a problem to get the lance out. It's keeping all his blood inside when that happens. Well, that's the point. You can't just yank it out, so... I'll I'll sort of realised who he was talking to. Damn it, I should really stop talking to you about these things. Your mother's going to be annoyed with me enough as it is. I think he's going to survive that lance. That lance, And we're going to have to execute him anyway. So might as well just bring him here. Well, it depends if he's actually a knight or not. If he is, he does have the right to take the black instead. If he lives through this. And to be perfectly honest, if he's capable of keeping all that equipment and his throats unslit amongst bandits, then he'll be at least useful on the wall. Well, Father, we... He's so bloodthirsty, brother. Not healthy. It's not bloodthirsty. It's practicality system. Well, whatever it is, let's have a look at this crossbow. The... Well, I didn't find my was Fuck off to the maesters. Uh, it was smart. Let's have a look at it anyway, because I, I spent a bit more time around those Lannister bastards than you did during the siege. Now that Here you go, my lord. The mark was uh, scratched off, but it was there. It's not Lannister design. I can tell you that already. Uh, it's not them, at least. We also interrogated one of the bandits. She so told us that someone came into their camp, gave the crossbow, the mail, as well as the gold and a lot of food, and told them to keep us busy or try to keep tabs on us or murder one of your children. <sighs> this is why we returned, as well as our bedrooms. Well, wow, it's a good thing you did. This is much worse than I thought. Means they're organizing. Well, there's obviously someone trying to make things hard for us. Yes, hard for us, but also someone's got a plan. The one thing we've always had on our side was that the, the bandits, the raiders, are always fighting each other as much as they're fighting our men. But if someone's managed to, is planning on bringing them all together, which is probably the worst thing that could happen, I'd have to call in Lord Risewell, which will make me look, make the house look weak to the other houses. 
But it still doesn't explain where they're getting stuff like this. And it sort of smacks the crossbow. What? And where they're getting gold dragons. The I'd chance. like to have two gold dragons spare. Well, there is a chance that someone else is organizing them. Someone is deliberately arming the bandits with food, weapons, and armor for so they can... But who? I who? have no idea. Unfortunately, I don't think be... Sorry. Continue. the bandit who knew took uh, an arrow to the eye before I... Oh, that Robin Knight. Someone equipped like that wouldn't be a, pot, wouldn't be a cat's paw or a common soldier. If he lives, we'll maybe have find out some information. I'm not presuming much, but it's, there's a high chance it's one of the other houses. The Arbonne, I, there's, there's a high no chance of what? That this is something that one of the other houses is deliberately... Sorry, you're cutting out of there, Farrell. <laughs> oh, this is giving me a headache now. Okay, what I said was, there's a high chance that this was orchestrated by one of the other houses. Oh, for f Are you cut out again? Can you hear me? Yes. Ah. Right, well, I don't know what's happened with Feral. Um, but I think we'll... Oh, he's back. I think we'll leave this session here. You know. um, the upside is, uh, next week we'll have an, some... Hello. Hey. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to leave it at this. You know, a bit of the ominous overtone. Um, but... Next week, um, we'll be doing some intrigue. Um, okay. We're going to get to question a Robinite. Uh, so you've got that to look forward to. Great. Um, Great. And then the sort of last of this little story I'm planning on doing, but as you all know, you're all going to go to get to go to Casterly Rock in the next couple of sessions. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Great. Hey. Oh, it's a journey at Castle Rock. That's a good chance to win some sweet gold. All right. I will see you guys next week then. All right. Or whatever. How much so, yeah. well, I, hope you, uh, I think you get XP at the end of a story, isn't it? Or at the end of every scene. I'll have, a, I'll have a look, um, and I'll message you on Discord how much XP, glory, and shit you got from this. Got it. Um, so I'll see you guys next week. See ya. Glad see ya. you enjoyed it. Hopefully my internet won't be so shit next time. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Okay. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of uh, disruptive. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. But anyway, um, I might switch to my phone. Next week, you use my dis my phone Discord. Okay. Because if I could do that through my mobile um, service, then it probably won't be as dis disruptive. I find right. it fucking hilarious that your your mobile phone is better internet than, than your stationary.